Hello there. How you guys doing? Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Hope you're all having a good day so far. Um, today I decided to have some random building. I'm honestly not sure what building it is that I took a picture of in Washington as the background. It's not really a castle. Um, like, it has a statue thingy. Uh... There's a US flag somewhere. Like, that's a US flag. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some building. I don't know which building. Um, but, you know, it felt fitting. Because, Maniac Mansion. So, this sure would be a mansion if there's actually people living in there. Uh, so, close enough. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I hope. You're all having a great day, as I mentioned. It's been quite some time since I've played this game. I believe it was back in uh, 2019 that I played it. And um, like I have seen other people play through it since it's such a popular game. So some parts I have seen more recently, but overall most of the puzzles I only solved back in 2019 and can't really remember. So, like, I, I remember the part with the mummy in the beauty contest. <laughs> but for the rest of the game, it's all very blurry in my mind. So, yeah, we'll see. I don't know how fast I'll get through the game, but yeah, we'll find out today. Like, last time I played through the entire game, it took me close to, or no, a bit over 14 hours. So, uh, that sounds like it would take a while if I need that long again. But presumably I'll manage to play through it a bit faster this time. We'll see. Anyway, let's get started. And we'll see if I'll do any better. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you'll shame me. Uh, once again, it's the remastered version, so it'll be weirdly cropped in the menus, but once we get to the actual game, it'll be fine. So. Um, we will start a new game. And I'm fine with my autosave data being overwritten. And let's not have developer's commentary, because, like... That feels like more of a recently having played through the entire thing or knowing what's going to happen next, which, yeah, my memories of it are too vague, so it's gonna be a no. Beautiful. That's a lot of birds. Area contaminated with industrial waste. Keep that. Mm, Sounds like great drinking water. I don't think you should drink that. It looks bad for you. Yes, I did. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. <laughs> like I could. My arms. <laughs> Take, Take all the world. <laughs> Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. 
hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. Nope. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. <gasps> Just locking the hamster outside, not even giving it water. Um, it is kind of a sequel, but like, it's like loosely based on Maniac Mansion. Like, y you only have Bernard, I'm not sure if he even mentions the other characters, or why the whole Maniac Mansion stuff was happening. Like, yeah. It's not exactly standalone. Um, yeah, of course, the tentacles. Yes. And, like, uh, some of the other characters in the mansion are based on, like, the other game. But I just mean the good guys have basically just been built down to only having Bernard? I believe. So, I think Laverne and uh, Hoagie, I think they're new ones. Um, Maniac Mansion, yeah, they did a remastered version. Yeah. It looked like the car had ribs. Because of the blue lines on it. It's hard to get a new wheel. Oh, tire. Why is there a cow? Okay. Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here, in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Secret. Ah, uh, we don't need controls, thanks. I've played enough point and clicks that I don't really need to get an in-depth introduction on how controls work. <laughs> So, can we open the office door? Yes. And pick up the bank book. Pick up the bank book. There we go. Open the very obvious drawer. And pick up Boo Boo Be Gone. Yes, that. Uh, we've got a phone, we've got a suspiciously thick portrait, and a camera. Okay. Such a strange cartoony style when you think of it. Like, if your walls look like that, maybe hire a different architect next time, because that doesn't necessarily look structurally sound. Laverne's covering that territory. I'll pick up this flyer. Yes. Um, fake barf. A dime with gum. That's a bell. Um, I think 
Ha ha! Yeah. A secret passage. This is all too easy. Yes. The secret passage in the grandfather clock. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. Had to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. <laughs> Did you say Bernard? <laughs> yes. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> I just stand oh, there and yeah. watches them. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. <laughs> It'll be well, fine. What possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? <laughs> Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? Now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! To the time machine! This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Well, I'll be. <laughs> Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. <laughs> this must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. Of course. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough. Yeah, safe. Uh oh Very safe. <laughs> he looks like he's having a great time. Yep. Looks about right. And um, stuck in a tree. Very stuck in a tree. And. He's back where we started. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will! As soon as I get a new diamond, then all yeah. your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? 
Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we gonna get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? Find the battery plans. I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Simple enough. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. All right, so step one, leave and never return. Okay, where are those plans? Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it, upstairs. What sort of flyer is that anyway? It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. I mean, who needs roommates anyway? Oh, there's a paper. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. Yeah. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt it. with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! That was just on a to-do list. I've got the plans! <laughs> Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? Good question. My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Yep. Yes! Down the toilet. No, through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? Yeah. No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Okay. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. <laughs> okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Pal. Fred? How'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. I feel like that was too many greats. boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. Like, I think there was like 10 greats? I'd say the professor, doctor, whatever. The doctor, right. Uh, he seems to be in his, like, 50s? Let's say his father was, like, in his... Let, let's say mid-20s, like 25. And let's say it was, like, 25 for all the rest of them. Bonus President Nishihudo holding Spashibon. So that would be... Uh, him, then his father, his grandfather, so that would already be a hundred years, and then uh, another, so his father, grandfather, great-grandfather, great-great-grandfather, great-great-great-grandfather, and great great Great, great grandfather, I think. <laughs> anyway, seems like too many greats. <laughs> Do they have kids when they're like 
I don't know, infants. Because otherwise I'm not sure how they managed to have that many generations. <laughs> Like, sure you'll fit like maybe two more generations in there, but that many? Eh, doubt it. Yeah, exactly. So, it doesn't really matter how long they live, just how long between birth and reproducing. <laughs> so, well, I don't think most people did. So, like, Maybe some, but I don't think the majority of the population have them that young. So let's open. Pick up this. Sure, life expectancy wasn't long, but the thing is, uh, there's also some very definite downsides to having pregnancy way before you stop growing. <laughs> So, people would have probably figured out that that's not necessarily the best idea. <laughs> so. So. Get me down from here! Let's see. Well, it's five generations in one century, but the doctor himself is, I'd say, in his like 50s or so right now. So, like, you just go back those 50 years, figure out what age his father was, or just guess what age his father was when the doctor was born and then so on so like he, he's it definitely seems like he's at least in his 50s if not 60s just like based on just character design in general <laughs> I mean, sure, there's outliers, but th my point is that was a lot of generations for 200 years. So, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so I do think they purposefully overdid the great, great, greats just a bit. So, pretty sure we need to take that mouse toy away. Um, there's the glass. The store, can I open that? Okay. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? What? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. <laughs> Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? Uh, it looks like they already have a model, so... But also, tiny scientific footsteps? Is that 
a comment on his shoe size or on his science. So... Um... <laughs> I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing. <laughs> Where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? Um. <laughs> there, that's gonna be nice and vague. I live off campus with Bernard and Laverne. <laughs> How nice for you. How nice for Bernard. How nice for Laverne. How nice for everybody. <laughs> well, actually, they never let me play my music very loud. Yes, of course. Well, goodbye. Okay. Um... Yeah. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Okay. He's been jostled. So... Don't think I need to go through all the dialogue options everywhere necessarily, but I'll see. Uh, hi, horsey. Oh, hi, yourself. <laughs> nice teeth. Thanks. I paid Beautiful. quite a bit for them. Um... <laughs> What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I questions. live here. What are you doing here? Um... Let's see... But might as well just go with the truth. I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. Yeah, well, he isn't the only one, I guess. <sighs> Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. <laughs> that smile. Um. I didn't think horses could talk. Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean, horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Yeah, yep. if you want to put it that way. I mean... I gotta go. See you later. Sounds plausible enough. So... There, there. That's the stairway. So... Let's... Open this door. Okay, both of them open. We've got a wine bottle. Chateau de Chipo, 1775. Nice. That's mine now. Uh, what does the calendar say? I can't look at it. Okay. Um, sure. I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. <laughs> Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. <laughs> uh, I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Um. Let's say... A skull with scorpions in its mouth. Yes. How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. <laughs> okay. Stars and stripes. Dull, dull, dull. Hey, don't criticize unless you got a better idea. Okay. And what's going on in here? George sleeps here. 
Well, <laughs> he probably does. Just not right now. Hey, what is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. <laughs> you then bet. again, maybe not. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. What? I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. <laughs> Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Must be. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device right. designed to minimize paper I still don't get what that's supposed to be. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. I mean, that, that's a similar hair length. Just differently styled. So, there. Make this thing. Mmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Okay. Um, board. Nothing separate. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Can I get the lab coat? Hey! Hmm? Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Fine. Not an employee, so. Oh, left handed hammer. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. Yeah. For my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. So I guess I need to exchange the hammers, because I remember the sculptor kept putting the hammer down. And that tends to mean stuff in point-and-click games, so... There. So, I'll just stand right here and switch out the hammers. Oh no, I've lost it. Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. <laughs> okay. There we I'm go. glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Okay. Alright, so... The statue is getting mirrored. Okay. We haven't been in that room yet. Um. But yeah, just see two hammers, you know? <laughs> it's. <sighs> Played too many point and click games. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Yummy. 
Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. Not entirely sure if I want to know how Hoagie knew that. I think that was where the cat was, yes. I mean, uh, being able to sculpt in general, not just out of stone, seems like a pretty impressive skill. But it also seems fairly expensive. <laughs> like buying all the stone. Okay. They don't seem to have gotten too far. Uh, can we read it? They don't seem to have gotten too far. You can look, but don't touch. Fine, so we can't read it. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Ah. <laughs> uh, how's it stolen if... He's right there. Excuse me. Yes? Well, I mean, odds are you buy it somewhere. But, like, uh, th th transporting stuff of that size and weight would be quite expensive. So, even if you can get it, like, around the corner, like, yeah. Still going to be... You'll have to factor in all the transport costs that got it to where you find it. So, yeah, exactly. Wood would be easier, or like, uh, sculpting with stuff like clay. So. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Mm -hmm. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. <laughs> awesome. Indeed. <sighs> Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Okay. Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. They're the same voice actor. Alright. I... I'm bad at telling that stuff, that sort of stuff, because like, some people are just too good at changing their voices. Doesn't that taste awful? Not if you take them out first. And some people also have very similar voices, so kind of blurs the the lines and that regard. But yeah, I guess he's kind of talking to himself then. Exactly. So. My Uncle Henry has false teeth, too. Fascinating, I'm sure. Mm-hmm. Very. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh, yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I can't remember what that story was supposed to be about him cutting down cherry trees. Does he just not like them? I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. Like, what's wrong with- I only cut down cherry trees. Family cherry tradition, trees. you understand. Cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. We do have red paint. Guess let's see if we can paint a tree. Get me down from here. Okay. <laughs> I 
Yeah, I'd assume it's just a matter of it being cheaper and like if you've already got the person on site, why not have them voice more than one character? So yeah. Okay. So he cut down a cherry tree and he wasn't supposed to cut the cherry tree down. Okay. It, it just seems like the, the, the a weird thing to like be known for cutting down cherry trees. Like they grow quite slow and they give you cherries. So why would you cut them down while they're still alive and well? <laughs> I don't think cherry tree wood is that special. At least not that I'm aware of. Oh look, a cherry tree. Excuse me. Don't know why he's supposed to cut it down, yes. but he's going to be cutting down that tree. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Um... Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. Uh. That young couple by the tree? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. <laughs> Striking, aren't I? Very. Um. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Um... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... There's one. Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I mean, maybe he just really didn't like cherries. I said come down oh. from there at once! Try to understand. It's the same tree. I'm stuck in this... What tree? Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. I don't think cherry trees generally live 400 years. <laughs> like, I'm aware of a cherry tree that lived to around, like, maybe, like, 50 or 60 or something. But, like, less than 100 years, and then it just died. So. And needed to be cut down. Um, yeah, I mean, of course they are basically on life support, but like, even then, the trees still have a limited lifespan. Because eventually they also end up getting like diseases and, well, whatever creatures that decide to uh, eat it up from the inside and so on. Anyway, let's save. There. Um, don't have any empty saves, so we'll just... Oh, so this game I played back in June of 2019. All right. And we're 8% through. Well, let's continue. Um, oldest known cherry tree is estimated to be 2,000. Wow, okay. That's a very old cherry tree. But yeah, generally trees still like have a limited lifespan. Just like all things. Because 
like, obviously with new trees growing, the old trees eventually also need to die out, because otherwise it's not going to work. So... Can I use the outhouse? Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. It's totally covered with crud. I guess we're supposed to clean that thing? Or someone else? I don't know. What's the letter again? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Okay. Not sure who we're supposed to give that to. Can I take the hat? No. Maybe we can talk to the mummy. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. Know where I can get some gold? Pretty sure it's the gold teeth. I have no clue what this is. Maybe a gold watch? Maybe. Know where I can find some oil? Any kind of oil will do. I guess not. Know where I can get some vinegar? Any restaurants nearby? Great hat, man. Good talk. I dig the three-corner idea. I like how it pauses to let the mummy answer. It's so piratey, you know? <laughs> All you need is an eye patch and a hook. Well, nice talking to you, dude. Um, what it is is uh, anniversary month. So basically, this month, I'm going to be replaying the last uh, five retro games that I played before I started saving my mods. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it's still listed even though the poll is no longer active. Should probably fix that because I keep forgetting. But yeah, basically, um, 13th of August is when I'm going to be, uh, celebrating, uh, reaching six years of streaming. So, that's that. So, yeah, that's why I'm replaying these games. Yes, six years. I started back in 2017. So, yeah, it's been a while. There it is. And... No more anniversary month poll. Got it. Okay. Well, thank you. But yeah, I've, I ended up doing anniversary month for several years because I had plenty of games to well, replay because I didn't save my mods back then. So, basically this year is when we'll actually manage to catch all the way up to, uh, 
when I started saving all my wads. So, yeah. I mean, I did play some other games before then, but those weren't retro games, so. I know, that's a lot of time. <laughs> Let's switch to the other ones, I guess. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I haven't done anything. Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me. Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. <laughs> Damn that, Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. <laughs> uh, Sanitarium, I played that less than four years ago. I can't remember when exactly. Like, probably like two or three years ago. So, you can find those mods. And I also played the Legacy Larry games. And you can find all the mods on the YouTube channel, actually. Because, yeah, I finished those a while ago. I mean, I uh, didn't play some of the more modern ones, but it's close enough. I played the retro ones and the ones that are still close enough to being retro. Like, I think at least one of them isn't actually allowed on Twitch, so I'm not going to be playing that one. Help wanted sign. Can I pick that up? Okay, nice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, wait, is there a coin in there? Oh, dang it. Didn't mean to climb up there. So. But yeah, the Legend of Larry games were definitely, uh, interesting to play through. <laughs> um, look at the ice it's machine. It's pretty darn cold. Okay. Let's close it again. Beautiful. So... Okay. There's a green sweater thingy. Well, a green design on a sweater. Or it's like drool or spit or whatever you want to call it. I have not heard of that. Um, but yeah, basically. <laughs> I played through the Legacy of Larry games. They were ex an experience, definitely. Um, mainly, uh, well, there was a lot of cringing. <laughs> a snoring animation. I'll have to look at that. They did a good job of that. It's useless. No one will ah, ever be interested right. in my design. So I'm ending my novelty inventing career right here in this tacky motel. How appropriate. Right. Best joke. <sighs> I can't even do this right. Oh, the 90s. Green! Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? Yeah. Hey! 
What's up, Bernard? <laughs> Did he just greet him halfway through the conversation? Um. Want to help see. me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Okay. Purple scares the daylights out of me. Must be a comfortable spot. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. Okay. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Green tea, as in green tentacle. Um, let's see, what's their strongest quality? Uh... Provocative lyrical content? Volume, man, volume! We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. <laughs> We're pulling out all the stops. Um, got a feeling that they are probably using construction equipment instead of instruments. So... Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. Oh, there we go. <laughs> we can generate a lot more sound that way. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. <laughs> but we have Imagine. a huge following in the club scene. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Let's That's hear them, great. obviously. Yeah. Um... How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. Getting back out of it is hard. I mean, I'd say this is basically their leg. So, the part where they you know, bend to, like, go to a sitting position is probably around there. So. Doesn't seem that weird. The litter box, on the other hand, I... I don't want to know. What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. You think it's food? Yeah, it's possible. Maybe tentacles eat litter. I don't know. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Okay. So, stereo. Uh, use? Wow! This is loud! Neat. Okay. Well, this is shaky. Think? There was something about... There we go. I don't know why we need barf, but... Let's just turn off the stereo and not question it. Whew. Videotape. Let's pick that up. There. Glad I can't interact with the litter box. I'm. I also really appreciate that duck. Next to the weird stormtrooper helmet. Um. Rash of cow tipping baffles police. 
triangular man spotted at same. Yeah. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benuli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped mm. your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Hmm, nope, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. Okay. So... Does it have anything to do with a hamster? All I know is that I used to have a cute white hamster with spots, and now I have a cute brown one with no spots. Hmm. It used to worry me, and the nightmares would come. I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. Now I collect stamps. Hmm. Yeah, the hamster tunnel is pretty fun. He sounds a bit out of it. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? It'll be I, fine. I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. Ah. I think I know what he's referring to. Because <laughs> in Maniac Mansion you can, uh, explode the hamster. <laughs> so, <laughs> I think that's what he meant. And yes, the hamster does seem to be reading the paper. But no, it's not smart, obviously not. <laughs> What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like, ding. Mm -hmm. Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes, but then he starts sweating and then he gets wet and then he gets cold and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? <laughs> Are you making fun of me? <laughs> no, yes. I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Uh, yeah, he does kill you, I think, if you show him the exploded hamster in the microwave, yes. Maniac Mansion is a very strange game. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... Well... Good thing we probably don't need them. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on a honeymoon. Dad's mm. in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? Well, it's a bird bath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. It's a giant stamp poster. I prove. I think that's the computer where you can play Maniac Mansion. 
Um, let's see. Oh, let's let's not. But yeah, you can just play Maniac Mansion here, as far as I know. Jeepers! But we've played it before, so that's fine. So it's signed Edna. Thanks for giving me the fever. <laughs> Great. Sounds like a bad thing. <laughs> Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather shy. Aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? Mm hmm. Yes, that's right. I knew it. You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. What did you come for this time? Yeah, I'm just saying that. Thanks for giving me the fever. What kind of fever? <laughs> it just seems like it could be misinterpreted. <laughs> so. I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Ordinarily nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers a combination to the safe. Hmm. I'd find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. Yeah, I'd say, uh, especially now, getting sequels to old franchises seems like a risky time. Because, <laughs> you know, all the AAA companies doing the usual stuff now. Y you don't really want these games mixed up in that. Like, how many microtransactions could they put in a point and click game? I don't know, but they probably try. <laughs> or they'd just make it not a point and click game so that they could add them in. Like, yeah. How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Hmm. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. That, that sure fixes it. How did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. Hmm. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. Hmm. Not sure what the statue is supposed to do. We'll see. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. But yeah, I'd say uh, for a lot of games nowadays, the best you can hope for is like a fan-made sequel, not so much a game studio-made sequel, because so many times they seem to dig up old IPs to, you know, use them for just the name and nothing else. <laughs> So, I don't really trust game companies to do a proper sequel for a game this old at this point. Is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't touch it. I haven't played the new Monkey Island game, so. 
Maybe that one's going to be an exception. I know some people don't like it, but like, they already really didn't like the art style, so. They might be biased just because of the art style. I don't know. I'll be making up my mind eventually when I actually play it. Um... Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. Beautiful. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch. I don't think there should be fleas on the bedroom walls. But maybe that's just me. Uh... Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> Seems like an inaccurate description. So she's sliding back and forth on the floor. Okay. I mean, I've actually stayed at a place where at least some of the rooms had bed bugs. I was very lucky to not end up with bed bugs, but yeah. It sure isn't fun to like, you know, need to take precautions for that sort of stuff. There doesn't seem to be anything dangerous in there. Okay. Good. Can I open the door? Nice. There's a bed. I can see the roof and some Christmas lights. Hmm. This room doesn't really look like there's much to interact with. I'm just going by uh, how out of place items look. Because that tends to be a pretty good way of figuring out what to interact with. I do have a dime. Can I use that with the candy machine? I'd rather not. No? Really? Are we sure? I'd rather not. Fine. Maybe I need the other dime. Can I pick it up? Mmm, spearmint, my favorite. It's stuck to the floor. Oh, the fake buff. Yay. I think it's fake. There. Got that. Open this door. Yeah. Well, just believe them that it's fake. <laughs> I don't think we need to test it. Hey, boy, you missed the party. You and the clown were having a party? <laughs> Obviously. No, no, last night. Oh, boy. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time. Yeah, I mean, it, at least it feels smaller. <laughs> But the walls and ceilings are crooked, so <laughs> makes it a bit more confusing. Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Pardo? No clue that is. That's strange. My wife says I look like Charles de Gaulle. Also don't know who that is. A cigar? Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Well, suit yourself, boy. Okay. Disgusting mounds of party garbage. Yeah, I... <laughs> I agree. Um... A vat of teeth. They're apparently shy. Can I pick them up? Missed. Come on, I I 
can't get hold of it. But they're stuck in the Slippery corner Slippery little devil. Slippery little devil. You can just stand right next to it. Oh, fine. There they go again. <sighs> okay, not sure how I'm going to get those stuck. Um, tail covered with junk. Is that a giant pumpkin or something? I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. <laughs> I hate that clown. Um, nope, there's the right. Hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Open. Okay. Uh, hmm. Air conditioning, I guess. Don't know what it's for. Neat. It's a door. <laughs> Fine. There we go. A fork. Let's pick that Actually, up. Actually, I'd call this more of a freak. It's fine. Uh, we've got coffee. Can we take those? Okay. I see microwave. The Duke Memorial Brand Microwave. Wonder if we're going to microwave anything. We might. I don't think I can pick oh, that up. Oopsies. Open. There. Um. Okay. So we've got a coin slot. We've only got one dime. Anything in there? It oh. looks pretty broken. Yeah, it does. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. It won't budge. Can I open it? Okay. It's a coin-operated clothes dryer. Who knows what surprises await inside? Funnel. How fun. So many items already. Um, emerald stolen. Circular prince left behind. Was, was he leaning against the wall for, face first? Why did it just do the sound again? I'm confused. Game, calm down. Okay. It seems to be glitching out now. We'll see. Nope, that didn't fix it. Fine. Let's save. Right there. Okay. Let's see if that'll fix it. Nope. Okay. I guess not too many birds. Let's load the save we just made. Oh, that's that's different save. Load. Uh, this one. Nope. Okay. I'll just close the game and open it back up again, and we'll see if that fixes it. Because it's going to be a bit annoying if we have to listen to that, like, up until the next time. Okay. There. Is it fixed now? I think it's fixed. Alright. I mean, it'll possibly happen again later on. We'll see. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. <laughs> you haven't changed a whole lot. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend Hoagie. 
He's a roadie for a heavy metal band. I still like how it pauses every single time for the mummy to answer. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. No offense intended, of course. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Best conversation ever. So, anything in there? It's closed. Now it's open. Oh. We're working on saving the world. I like how it says wash me on the front. Someone wrote wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh. Oh. Uh-huh. How about that? Interesting. It's really dirty. So, uh, what's he doing? Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. <laughs> nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. Yeah. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? Mm-hmm. I, uh, have a spare set of keys in there. Nice crowbar. Yeah, I know. See you later. Yeah. Okay. So, what if we just open the car door? I think it's locked. locked. Yeah, I trust him too. He seems fine. I mean, he's just, you know, trying to get into his car, which is obviously his car, not someone else's. And it's also definitely not broken down. Let's switch over to her. So, we've got the cards. And we've got the people. And the other tentacle. See, that's how they sit. Best not bother them, they're busy cheating. <laughs> Okay. Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. <laughs> uh, I like how they're all super familiar with their family tree. <laughs> Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. Hmm. Nice to meet you. I can say most people don't know uh, who their like, ancestor from 200 years ago is. So, where am I? Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now, we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. <laughs> oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. 
didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. <laughs> Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. I somehow expected him to say, I'm only, like, 150 or something. <laughs> So, can I pick up the cards? Hey, they yep. can cheat, you can't! Oh true, we do have a scalpel, we could stab things. But of course, like, everyone's family goes back to, well, I guess back when humans started existing. Because, <laughs> you know, nobody just poofed into existence, so. But it is pretty impressive to, like, to have your family tree that figured out. But I think especially in countries where they've had a lot of war, it's kind of difficult to figure that sort of stuff out, because, uh, records aren't necessarily existent. So... I think they're both cheating. Probably. Uh... We... Should probably switch off that... ...option, because we won't be hiring any new characters for XCOM for a while. But I will add you to the list. No, not... Not ever again, it's just that, uh, probably next month. <laughs> but I will add you to the list. There. Thanks for pausing it. No worries. You are on the list now. I just forgot to pause it, so, yeah. So... I think they're both cheating. Uh, Zed? I'm tired of talking Fine. now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Maybe I can just convince the tentacle to you let us out. Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, ah, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay. Okay, human, do your business. Oh, I've played it before. Okay. So, I'm outside now. Um, yeah, I've played it four years ago. A bit over four years to be precise, but yeah. Uh, there's a window. Can I climb through it? I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. Okay. Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. Maybe we can dangle the plug down there? I think it'd take a longer ah. cord. Nothing over there. Okay. Hmm. But I only played the game once so far. And that was four years ago. What she's able to do seems to be a lot more limited. Maybe I'll just have to send over stuff. Not sure what. Like the wine bottle? I think we could probably use that to make vinegar? Isn't there a thing about, like, if you leave a wine bottle open for long enough it turns into vinegar? 
think so. Um. Hmm. A disturbing neighbour. I guess it depends on your definition of disturbing. People who do a disturbing amount of construction, definitely. <laughs> like, it's pretty impressive how frequently some people seem to renew their kitchens, for example. I mean, who doesn't want a new kitchen every single year? <laughs> a horticultural horror. But why? A horticultural horror. What's so bad about the cactus? Neat. <laughs> yeah, it just feels like some people renew basically everything in their living space every single year, somehow. Because, I mean, that would explain the amount of construction sounds. <laughs> And also, like, people moving apartments, like, once a year or even several times a year. Can't relate. Like, how do you get the energy for that? And also, why? <laughs> I'm way too much of a cave dweller to want to do that. <laughs> So, anything going on at the door? Oh, there's keys. That's pretty nice, I think. Okay. There's a whole lot of keys on here. I wonder what they're for. Um, what's this? Up too late? Try a fickle finger's fate. Stick in a dime and you'll have a good time. Right. Let's see what happens if I stick a dime in there. Right. It moved slightly. Um. Well, that was my only dime, so... There goes that. This beautiful 4,000 carat diamond can be yours today! For the special rock bottom introductory price of two million dollars. Infomercials. The number to call is 1-800-STAR-WARS. Don't miss this amazing once in a lifetime opportunity. Hmm. Yeah, in my experience, LucasArts games don't really have a way to completely lock you out, so. <laughs> yeah, it's... It, there are definitely some very annoying neighbour types. Main ones I've had are the people just with the constant construction sounds, uh, people who smoke a lot, and uh, people who, like, party late at night when I'm trying to sleep so I can't have like the window open and even then I probably still hear it but all in all could be worse than that <laughs> so yeah Wonder how I'm going to get the teeth. Hmm. Been alright, how about you? Oh rubber chicken! 
Does it have a pulley in the middle? Why is the music being weird? Not sure that was. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Okay. Nice cigars. Nice? These babies are practically exploding with tobacco goodness. Oh, want a cigar? Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Thought I was gonna blow your head off there, didn't you? Well, you were right! <sighs> you shouldn't smoke, it's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. Barely. Sam. Table covered in junk. A lighter. It looks almost real. Hmm. Can I take it? Hands off, boy! That's a precision-made novelty device. I mean, we did see the other fake gun. Tentacle rescues. Re Turns emeralds. May I, may I congratulate Purple Tentacle? Well, well, well. So first he's taking the emerald and now he's giving it back. Going there, I rescued it. It's not people grateful for him for doing basically nothing. My grandma gave me one like this for my birthday. Okay. Can I use the phone? Sleek design, sturdy construction, attractive housing, all in all a fine phone. Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Um, yeah, so this is the remastered version to, like, but it's set to look like the original, but like the saving icon still pops up in the corner every now and then, so. Yeah. Hmm. Can I push the candy machine? It won't budge. Pull? It won't budge. Open. It doesn't seem to open. So... I mean, let's save. See how we're doing. There. 15% through the game so far. Not sure I'll manage to finish it in one go. <laughs> okay, he's still busy. So, I 
could send stuff over to the other ones. Um... Keys... Has there been a locked room? Don't remember one. Uh, we've got the video. There's tape. no label, it's probably blank. Okay. Blank book, help, help wanted. wanted. Lab assistant. Hard working moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma, not required. Okay, so. Nice. I'll just run to the chronogen. There's something in the chronogen. Okay. Because to get the lab code, I think I will need to go look look at the help wanted sign. Um, the flyer. It's from George's Hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. Hmm. Not sure what to do with that. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Okay. So, a boring textbook. I'll use the chronogen. Uh, I think that's why it's a bottle of correctional fluid. Yeah. I think it's fake. I think Laverne needed that one. Unless there were several uses for it. Because I think that was part of the human show thing. Keys, no clue. Wait, why does he have a can opener? I can't remember. Um, I'll just send that over to Bernard. Left, uh, the, the right-handed hammer, I'm not sure we'll need that. Wine bottle, let's try and use the help wanted sign. Yeah, but we haven't seen any cans, other than the paint can, but it's already open, so. What's this? Mm, help wanted, moronic drone, mm, assist genius, yada yada yada. Well, I'm the only genius around, mm -hmm. and you look dumb enough. <laughs> uh. So pick up your lab coat and get to work. Nice. Now I've got a lab coat. So. Does he need the ladder? Or, wait. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Think I know who needs to sue that letter. Yes, I do have a lab coat. It's in storage somewhere. I mean, I guess I might use it at some point if, you know, I'm painting or something. But yeah, I do have an actual lab coat that was used in an actual lab. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Odds are I won't be in another lab where I need my own lab coat, so. I don't understand but it is covered in with exploding catnip. Chemical stains and stuff. So. Hey, there's a letter here for go. you. For me? Probably another rejection slip. So I'll definitely oh, have yeah. to like double and triple wash that thing. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. There he goes. Okay. Wait. He also has one of the flag guns. Alright. When you pull the trigger, a humorous flag is propelled out of the barrel on a stick and unfurls. Okay. 
Okay, can't just use it. Oh, right, right. He has the flag and the other guy has the lighter gun. I forgot. Disappearing ink. Um... Yeah, I mean, it's not my problem what happens when he arrives in Baltimore. Don't remind me. <sighs> okay, leftovers in the back. Things are growing in it. Nice. Neat. Can I use the phone? Couch Potato Shopping Channel. Oh, right. Wanda speaking. Uh, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank. No. Bank Skip. account. No. What's Doesn't the number, sir? Um, it's eight four six four two seven three five three two seven. I'm sorry, the Credotron shows that account to be empty. Okay. What's in the mouse it's hole? It's pretty small. Okay. That's right, an incredible 4,000 carat diamond for the piddling sum of two million dollars. That number again, 1-800-STAR-WARS. Wanda will be standing by to take your call. Pretty sure disliking a movie doesn't make you sexist. <laughs> there are many reasons to dislike a movie. But of course, if your reason to dislike a movie is I don't like women and there are women in the movie, then you might be sexist. So. Yeah. Yes, yes, I, I do get that joke. But I mean, there do seem to be a lot of people who uh, now critique games because the women in them are not pretty enough. Which... Yeah. How dare women not look like they're wearing a full face of glam makeup at all times. Well, yeah, exactly. That's my point of, like, the women all need to look like they have been through, like, several hours of, like, professional hairdresser, professional makeup artist, just to, like, exist in a medieval fantasy game. Like, false eyelashes, I'm pretty sure, didn't exist in the Middle Ages, so if you want realism, you can't have those. The, I guess that's a flyer. No, Looks that's like the doormat. a stand for tourist Wait. info and ads for local merchants. Yeah. It's just silly when people complain about that sort of stuff because. Like, if the only reason you're playing video games is to look at pretty women, the internet exists. <laughs> so. Uh, can I switch out this gun with the other gun? That guy looks like Benjamin Franklin. Huh? 
I don't see anything. Oh, never mind. There. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Uh, let's nice see what happens cigars. if we get a cigar now. I import them from the finest Cuban munition factories. So, want another cigar? Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? Hehe. <laughs> Oh, he gets to keep the cigar now. And the lighter. Okay. Get lost, kid! So what do I need a cigar for? And a lighter. Well. Thank you for the tier 3 sub! <laughs> I did not expect that. It's very rare to see on this channel. You may be the only tier 3 subscriber, I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Thank you. I really appreciate that. Whose face do we want to explode? Ah. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I don't think he would prefer. Do you want your face to explode? Well, I, I don't think I can send it through chat. Maybe next time. <laughs> Do we want his face to explode? I want to save it for maximum comedy potential. Okay. Uh... What do we want the disappearing ink for? Oh, maybe for the... Constitution? The funnel? No clue. Can opener. Hmm. Let's see. Do we have a VCR in here? Have to wait for her to be on the other side. Because we do have a tape. Yep. Okay, so VCR is in here. I just push her. <laughs> oh, there she well, goes. You know what they say. <laughs> if you want to save the world, you gotta push a few old ladies down the stairs. So. I appreciate the compliments, but. Oh. We're here for the games. So, let's look at the monitors. Um, 57. There's Play. no tape in the machine. Okay. I will put the tape in the VCR. Why is there a number at the bottom? Okay. Nothing on the tape. Right. The tape's at the end. Um. Uh, is that. Not sure. What that switch is supposed to be. Okay. Can I do anything it with the It looks like owl? a physics professor I knew in the second grade. Hmm. Start point and end point. I guess? Maybe that's to rewind it? 
Like, I've used the VCR before, but I can't remember a switch like that. I mean, it's been years, of course, since VCRs are no longer that much of a thing. And would have also been in German, so... Stuff doesn't necessarily translate. Uh, Purple Tentacle is Man of the Year, so... Yeah, for me, I think it's been less than 20 years, but still, it's been a while. So... Yeah. I still had some cassette tapes. Or, actually, I still have one, I think. You know, for sentimental purposes. But I don't have a VCR. <laughs> so I just have it for, like, novelty's sake, I guess. In case I find a VCR. <laughs> I'm not sure how many people still have a VCR at this point. Probably not too many, especially a working one. Oh. Okay. Hmm, a handle attached to a rotating shaft which transmits and modifies rotary motion and torque. Hmm, that. Wow, a pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. A ton of awful movies that never made it to DVD. I mean, fair. But I would assume there wouldn't really be too many people out there who can still repair VCRs, and of course, they wouldn't be making them anymore, so... I guess you need to figure out how to repair it yourself, or you just need to know a person. Or you just buy new ones until there aren't any more out there. <laughs> well, new. It just seems tricky to, like... The cage seems open. Um, uh, yeah, it seems tricky to try and, like, keep that sort of technology alive, because, well, of course with all computers, people are also still buying parts of those and building them, but I feel like there are more people who know how to repair computer parts than VCRs. It just feels like VCR repair isn't as cool of a hobby, but I might be wrong. I mean, yesterday we were hearing about toaster repair. <laughs> so. I guess we could try and see if, uh... The doctor would like some decaf. World's greatest mad scientist. Thanks. I needed a little pick-me-up. There he goes. Oh, right. Sleepwalking. Safe. Yeah. Must sign contract. Must provide for family. Okay. So... He doesn't need the cup anymore. So... That must be Dr. Fred's contract. Fine, so he slams the safe shut right after. What if I just pushed him away? I've heard it's not too good to disturb a sleepwalker. Fine. So I guess we'll look at the camera then. Right. I guess I 
teleport? Eh? Oh, that was the stop button. Wait. The tape's at the end. So... Is that the speed setting or something? The tape's at the end. So... Which button to rewind it? Um, just there. Fine. That's the button. So, record. Okay. I thought the record button is usually red, not... Well, red, yes, but like circular instead of a square. Dr. Fred Edison. Oh. Internal Revenue. Come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. Why necessarily upstairs, though? <laughs> Dr. Fred Edison, Internal Revenue, come with us. We'd like to go over some of your records with you. Upstairs. How do they know where the records are kept? Does the IRS just know? The IRS always knows. There we go. So that's slow speed. 101. 999. 57. Okay. That's not too bad. Dr. Fred Edison. Internal revenue. Come <laughs> with us. <laughs> there you go. So let's open that safe and get the contract. I guess one of the other persons is gonna have to sign it since this one's possibly stuck now. The safe is closed. So use. I'd rather not. Open. Let's see, it's 101 yes. there we go. 99957. Didn't even need to type it in. It's been so humid the last couple of days, and like it's 27 degrees right now because... Not because it's actually warm outside, just because I can't really open the windows because it's been raining so much. <sighs> ah. Happens every time. Would be nice to have just a cloudy day for a change. Just to be able to air out the apartment. So let's look at the, the contract. Party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Okay. Uh, just give it to this guy. I don't wanna. Huh. Hmm. It's some kind of legal mumbo jumbo. What does she think about it? Wow! Mailed before the deadline, this would have made Dr. Fred fabulously wealthy. Oh. Hmm. So, how am I going to get him to sign that? It is kind of nice that they've got different voice lines 
to talk about that sort of stuff. Yeah, probably with a pen. <laughs> I guess we might have to get the actual one to sign it. How do you suppose the Dodgers are doing? Well, their win-loss ratio is 28% below normal. However, the successful slide margin is actually up three points since May. Hey, you can't go in there. Okay. I've noticed that they seem to do well with a man on first after a fly- Neat! Hey, you can't go yep, in there. I'm just trying to open Fascinating. the latch. Good thing right. we've got Dr. Fred under wraps in the next room, huh? All that red tape ought to keep him busy. All that red tape? Somehow I don't think that they're talking about the metaphorical red tape. Did they just wrap him up in red tape? <laughs> and if so, do I need to unwrap him? <laughs> Okay. Let's see if we can get through here. It's already open. Oh. Well, there he <laughs> Red tape and rope. Nice. Seems to have a high tensile strength. Just open it. It doesn't seem to open. Uh, use the rope. Okay. Nah. I've got the rope now. Nah. With the window? I don't think I can do that. No. Use the rope with the can opener. I'd rather not. No. Uh, can I talk Seems to Seems to have a high tensile strength. Nope. He doesn't exist. Hmm. Maybe we can get scissors. Up rope. Oh, there we go. That worked. <laughs> okay. Um. Can I talk to him now? Dr. Fred must still be asleep. Can I pick him up? Uh oh. Hey. Where'd he go? Ah, there you are. Okay. Don't try anything sneaky. Okay. So I need to get him... I guess, outside? Uh... Can I... I just got him untied. Yeah, but, like, maybe I can, like... Make some weird nah. pulley system where, like... Uh, I'd rather not. Pick up the rope? What for? No. I'd rather not. Hmm. I'm just trying to, like, find a way to get him outside. Pull the bed? I wouldn't want to strain myself. Fine. Dr. Fred must still be asleep. What if I turn on the super loud music? Maybe then they won't notice. The weave is quite fascinating. Actually, a reverse double overlap, which makes for phenomenal strength. Because, <laughs> I mean... It seemed like the... The sound of him hitting the floor was the issue. And if there's no sound, then I could fix it. So... Wow! This is loud! Is it gonna be hard in the entire house? Possibly. Okay. Nope. Nope. 
There it is. Uh oh. Hey. Okay, that wasn't Very it. Very funny. I can see this bed through the peephole, you know. Oh. He can see the bed. So... What do I do to make it so they can't see the bed? Like, I basically need a picture of him lying in bed. That doesn't sound like an item that's just laying around this game. There. Whew. Can I pick up the bowling ball? It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Fine. Let's see. Haven't talked to all of them yet. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Why? He's going to give the log to starving children? I don't get any respect around here. <laughs> Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. That's where your joints hurt, right? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c crazy over guys with a big signature. <laughs> sure. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, 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 a writing the... A, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Ah. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. <laughs> Wimp. Hmm. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It Fine. makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Fair. You say that as though it was a bad thing. Do you have any idea how much it costs to fix a wall these days? It's a racket. Okay. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. I mean, for being colorblind, it looks okay. <laughs> like, didn't do a bad job. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any um, amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any br brilliant ideas? Uh... No music in elevators. No music in what? <laughs> well, I gotta go, dude. Actually, I think... Is this where did like it's a suggestion? From George's hardware. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. That sounds like a suggestion. There we go. <clears throat> Boy, it's sure quiet in here. 
I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. Maybe somebody should take a look. <laughs> I say, lads, I have an idea. Does it have anything to, to, to do with starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Uh -huh. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. Yes, whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. <laughs> so that's basically him writing the Constitution. What's he thinking? No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Perhaps he intends to suggest something himself. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. <laughs> what do you think, gentlemen? Well, George says it. <laughs> mm, whatever you say, George. <laughs> Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for suggesting it. Yes. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. Very important. No? Good. And so shall it be law. <laughs> so What's everyone needs to have a basement cleaner? and a vacuum cleaner in that basement. Because, like, otherwise, how would you make it law to have a vacuum cleaner in your basement if you don't have a basement? Or do only people with basements need vacuum cleaners? <laughs> so... Anything else we can do around here? Hey, Tall, Dark, and Spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Who do you can open Thomas. It? My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Huh. That's convenient. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Could you start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. Hmm. Of course. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Okay. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. <laughs> Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Dude, is that like the Constitution? It is. Now that our esteemed leader has sparked us with his brilliant vacuum suggestion, we're really rolling. We've just finished up Amendment 425, which prohibits spelunking on alternate Thursdays. I hope they've got a good editor. Yes, he traveled back in time 200 years. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? Uh, I like those S's that look like F's. Yeah, those are the most I important see. parts. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? <laughs> so, that looks oddly wine bottle shaped. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. Perfect. I'll bury it tonight, and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. 
Okay, so Laverna is going to find the wine bottle. I wonder if I should have opened it first. Oh well, we'll find out. Otherwise we might have to put it in there again. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! All mine! If only we had some nasty weather! Well, we did hear... about the power cleaning thing. We don't have anything to clean a car, though. Maybe we can tell someone to clean it. So... Could try and see if we could put the horse to sleep? With the textbook? That could work. Ahem. The LALR compiler is constructed by the following method. First, develop a rigorous elective grammar. If the elements have NP completeness, the crunchy factor can be ignored. Blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, nice. blah, 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 blah. Perfect. Blah. I'll Whoa. just take these. <laughs> Not sure what to do with them. Uh, right, they're gold. Well, these are almost as gross as my friend Eddie's teeth, and he eats raw sewage on stage. Fine, I thought they were gold. Seems they're not gold. I'm not sure what to do with them. <laughs> uh, nice barrel. Wait, does he no longer put the hammer down now? Seems like it. Okay. So he can't change the around again. So... How do I convince that cat what a to pretty give pussy me cat. the mouse? Cats dig these. Yo, I... Okay. Very Spartan. Very Spartan. Push them. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Use it. Oh. What about that one? Very smart. Hmm. Uh, hole. Where am I gonna? Like, what? Very smart. It seems like. Oh, I can uh, switch uh, them around. Uh. Sounds like the cat's caught a moose up there. <laughs> there. No. I go take the mouse. Yes. I got the mouse. I don't know what to do with it, but I have Cats it. Cats dig these. Is there going to be another cat? I haven't seen another cat. <sighs> I'm collecting so many items! Can I take the kite plans? I don't understand that technical stuff. Yeah. Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards oh. message. Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Okay. Here I had my hopes up. Is that? Looks like a certain murderous bunny. Use that bed too. I guess this is George Washington's oh, bed. Okay. It's a mess now. Um. Hmm. 
Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. Eh? Okay. Oh, cart. So. Old fashioned lie in a new, more convenient size. There. Can we use the soap to wash the car? I mean, seems like dry soap maybe wouldn't do it, but like, it's a fucking click game. I don't wanna. Fine. Uh, what else can we do with the soap? We're just collecting so many things. So. She's very limited in terms of what she's allowed to do. Hmm. What if I talk to the tentacle? Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. Fine, it just sends her back. Hmm. I guess I'll need to... get some sort of, like, distraction. Or trick him somehow. Did you say you have a PP-41 facilities paraphernalia declaration over there? Nope. Is that a W-390B frivolous spending report? No, it's another 561AB negative attention statement. Ah. Uh, good thing we've got Dr. Fred under wraps in the next room, huh? <laughs> I do kind of wonder if any of those are real forms. I mean, the numbers are probably made up, but... Like, if anything similar actually exists. Hmm. They spill white out on the stamps or coffee. Sure, that wouldn't cause any issues. I don't think that would look better white. But maybe the disappearing ink. Hey, wanna see a neat trick? Uh-oh. Sure. Uh-oh. Neat, huh? Uh... My Pony Express stamp. You'll ruin my Pony Express stamp. Not to mention five years of therapy. Get out of my room. Jeez, what a grump. He should really try to find some outlet for those... Stamps. Feelings. It looks like all the inks disappeared now. Okay, can I just give it back? Get out of here. Hey, you fixed it. I guess I can forgive you now. Sometimes I do stupid stuff and I don't even know why. As if my body were being controlled by some demented, sadistic puppet master. Well, we all feel that way sometimes. Me. Definitely wasn't me. So... Yes, I do believe he did. <laughs> but I mean, fair enough. We are doing some pretty evil stuff. Yeah, you could also call them compliments. Either way. So, still don't know whose face I want to blow up. Maybe Washington? He 
seems like the kind of guy. And there's stuff about his hey, teeth, it's not a so. Boy. Excuse me. Alright. Yes. Seems to be the one. Mr. President, may I offer you an excellent smoke? Can you also provide me with a light? Sure. Well, in that case. Ah. Is it not going to explode? There we go. Bless, there goes teeth. I hate it when that happens. See if you can't find those for me, will you? There's a good lad. Okay. So we've got another set of teeth. Wait, where did they go? Ah, oh. His teeth have disappeared. Okay. Does he want these? Could you use these? Very kind, but those are much too large for me. Fine. Hmm. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Maybe we're supposed to do something with the guy who wants it to rain? With that coat? Maybe he wants a raincoat. For when it starts raining. I don't know. Where even is that guy? Is he over here? I saw him earlier. Oh, there he is. Do you want a raincoat? It looks kind of small for me. Uh, give lab coat. Nice raincoat. I wish I needed it, but unfortunately the sun continues to mock me with its insipid warmth. <laughs> okay, so that's a no. At least not yet. Hi there, mister. Franklin, Ben Franklin, soon to be known as the inventor of electricity. Uh, do you know Red Edison? He's a scientist guy, too. Red Edison? A scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked his inn of all places to write our constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Yes. Ha! Huh. I, Ben Franklin, am going to summon power from the sky by sheer force of genius! It is kinda... a thing that already exists, though. Ah. Uh. Oh well. I wonder what Red would say about that. Who cares about that crackpot? I mean, obviously it exists now, but like, I mean, back then. Because like, lightning, that, that, that wasn't the first time lightning happened. With the kite and all of that. So... Aren't you the hundred dollar guy? Hmm, the hundred dollar guy, not bad. What's so bad about Red? What can you say about a guy who spent the last four years perfecting a left-handed hammer? He's insane! And he steals other people's inventions, too, hmm. before they can even apply for the patent! Not that I'm bitter. Oh. I need Red to help me save humanity. So he's a missionary now, eh? Well, why not? Can't be any worse at that than he is at inventing. Well, see ya. Carry on. Will do. Can we get water from the toilet? <laughs> it's 
to use the soap with. Okay, I flushed it. Oh, I didn't say who to flush it to. Can I just pick it up again? Oh. Well, that didn't work. I was hoping to, like, flush it and, you know, water flushing down the toilet to, like, make the soap. Well, said C. <laughs> I wanted to moisten the soap. It didn't work. I don't wanna. It's just a bar of soap, still. Have we seen any water? I guess there's a tap in the kitchen, right? Nope, there is not. Laundry room? Nope. Work for. Okay. I'd rather not. How am I going to catch the teeth? Jumpy little sucker. Jumpy little sucker. Maybe I could, like, find some glue or something to get it stuck. Or a mouse trap? I don't know. <laughs> Just something. But what sort of bait would you put? The tentacle to run as GOP VP. So, as vice president. Okay, then. true. And the whole say cheese thing. Yeah. Could be a pretty funny joke. Oh, is there a vacuum cleaner in the basement now? I don't think we've checked. It better be. Don't see it. Nope, don't see a vacuum cleaner. Well, well, well. <laughs> oh, that's the hamster generator. There, that. it's off. But it's too late now. Oh well. Why was he pumping that stuff into the river anyway? <laughs> Still feel like the disappearing ink could come in handy with the constitution. Maybe. Maybe the whiteout too? To, you know, make some changes. <laughs> As you do. Bird bath? 
I think I'll need a little more leverage. Oh. I don't think I can do that. Well, that's not very nice. But I guess we're switching out bodies. <laughs> Instead of using like a picture of the room and like, I'd rather not drawing the doctor on there. It's impressive strength. And there goes the bird bath. Okay, that works. Sure, they didn't notice anything. And yes, I'll be fine. Everyone is gonna be fine. Okay. Let's just switch them out. Uh oh. Hey. Who's this, Doc? Relative? Well, I'm sure we can audit him next. Hmm. This isn't a party. Oh, the bandages aren't red. Maybe... I need to paint them red? Well, that's not very nice, but, you know, it's for a good cause. <laughs> yeah. Mm, thought I heard something. Everything okay in there? Well, try and keep it down, okay? Now pick up the doctor. I can't carry him. Fine. Rope on, doctor. Just bundle him up. And... I'd rather not. Oh. Nah, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Okay. There we go. He'll be fine. Just a slightly broken neck. He'll be worse. Oof. Dr. Fred, are you okay? Dr. Fred? He's fine. I'd better get him to the lab. Well, I got him in here, but he's out cold. Oh, right. The, uh, funnel? Do we force feed him coffee? Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh, well, he's fine. Damn good coffee! Uh, do you want to sign a contract? I got the contract for you to sign, Doctor. Sorry, I don't like to sign things that I haven't read. Well then, read it. Okay, so read it first. I'm busy trying to think of a way to save humanity. I don't have time to read. Oh, now on. leave me alone. So, 
So we need someone who's like just giving our autographs or something. Wait, can we ask him Will to give us an please autograph? Please sign this contract. I don't sign things I haven't read. Hmm. But the whole human race is at risk. Of course! That's why I'm busy trying to think of a way to save it! I don't have time to read. <sighs> now leave me alone. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as... A crazed maniacal genius. What if I give it to Laverne? Can she get the new guy to sign it? I waited, but she never picked it up. Fine. Hope she's okay. Hmm. I guess this guy won't sign it either. And the guy in the past didn't want to sign it. Sign that thing. Hmm. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. <laughs> Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. Okay. Well, well, what have we here? I feel pukey. Indeed. All right, now hold still. Are you going to use your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? <laughs> uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. Oh, the anatomy what? toss. What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Okay. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. Okay. So you just left us here. Neat. This room still looks the same. Cyclotron. Looks like there's something in it, but I guess not. Yeah, she's definitely fun. But very unhinged. Hey, uh, how'd you get out? Dang it. Get back in there. Have to do it again. I wish Dr. Tentacle would stop losing patience. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? I'll try and save afterwards. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Yes. There we go. Okay. Didn't have to go through the entire thing again. That's better. I'll save anyway, because it's been a while. Um, there. 42%. Nice. Making progress. Okay. Can 
much like that. Just the regular old no way could I reach that. <laughs> Looks like they're getting ready for some kind of show or something. I open the window. There's no way to open it. I'm... Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a two. Hi, I'm La. Ooh, wee, you are one ugly human. Thanks. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest Homo sapien I've ever seen. <laughs> are you trying to tell me something? Yeah, you're a real wolf. I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. Hey. Yeah, I'm apparently 42% through the game. But last time the playthrough took me 14 hours. I've only played through it one time so far, so I don't remember much, which is why I'm still slow. Um. Okay. What is this? A beauty contest? Yes. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could really call a human show a beauty contest. It's more like a least ugly contest. Fine. Human show schmoomin schmo. Who needs it? The winner gets dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Why would I want to go there? Not you, your owner. Oh, forget it. Wait, dang it. Hey, Keep making the same mistake. you get out? Get back in there. Don't escape again. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? Ooh, do I again. don't feel so good. Again? Yes. It's always. She never feels good. Uh. Can I pick up either of the charts? Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. Tentacle chart? I can't get to the Chronogon from here. Um, uh, is that the way out? Hold it! Dang it. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I'm... I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. So... You who, Mr. Tentacle I'm pretty guy? sure we need to get that what? to Hoagie, to the lady who's sewing flags. I have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. about an amendment that the president has to be a human being. Please, this is serious business. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. 
I guess he doesn't have to be. Yeah, I know you can do that. I just keep forgetting to. Especially when I'm same when I'm in the same room as the uh protogon. There. Just put it on the pile. There it is! Yes. Well, that's the nice thing about streaming. You find out all sorts of things about games. <laughs> Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy! It's about time. Okay, now I go back to... Yoo-hoo, Mr. Doctor. Tentacle Guy! What? Uh... Actually, never mind. Never mind. Don't worry, I won't. Maybe it's gonna be on the roof here. Who knows? Yes, we're gonna be the most American tentacle. Okay, so it's not here. Fine. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Okay. So, how did I get to the roof? Right, fireplace. Oops. Flag. No way could I reach that. The crank is missing. Oh. Pick up the crank. And... I waited, but she never picked Dang it up. It. Fine. Hope she's okay. Need to go back again. you get out get back in there um i haven't played siberia 3 yet i do think i'll play it eventually will you? don't know if it's currently on the game poll or not it might be you i think it was several times guy. what so bathroom I again i have to go to the bathroom oh all right I haven't played that Let's one either. Take a walk. Could be that I'll play it eventually. Okay, human, do your business. So use the crank. Anything else she'll probably need? Right, I think the teeth were for her. There. Maybe the coat as it well. Looks kind of small for me. Or no, right? The the guy needed the raincoat, right? Okay. Now we go back again. <sighs> you. Mr. Tentacle Guy. Oh, I haven't played it's it yet. It's about so time. You who, Mr. Tentacle Guy? What? <laughs> Ooh, and back to the doctor. So good. Again? Okay. So now we get the thing. Yeah. So let's use the crank. Yeah.
<laughs> Beautiful. We're a tentacle now. Hello, fellow tentacle. Hello, I'm a tentacle. <laughs> I'd like to enter my insignificant human in the show. Oh my, yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Now all I need is a human. Yowza! That was one good looking tentacle. Hmm. Um, no, I've not played that. I don't think I've heard of it actually. Weird thingy behind the microwave. So. I think now we should just be able to flush stuff through because now we're able to just roam free there okay oh a cat can't get close what about the cat toy Yum yum, <laughs> scrumptious vermin. It's as if he'd rather scratch himself than play with this adorable rodent. Hmm. Can't get close to him. He was scratching his back on the fence, I think. Hmm. Maybe I need to make the fence scratchier or something. Isn't that the wrong anthem? <laughs> I just completely glossed over that. <laughs> yeah, I've played a lot of different types of games, but I have not played that one yet. Like, it's quite a long list for the main reason that I've been, well, streaming retro games specifically since, I believe that was, uh, end of 2018? Um, this game I played, uh, middle of 2019, so, yeah. Or maybe... Might have actually been February 2019 that I started playing retro games. Because I remember something happened there. In terms of changing channel stuff. So that might have been when I started playing retro games. Either way, been playing retro games for a while. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, there you go, four years. Wow. <laughs> oh. That's a pretty rare follow age. Yes, you might have. Well, actually, uh, I played this uh, June of 2019. So, you followed at the end of June? So you probably only just missed it. <laughs> oh, you've been following for quite some time. Yeah. Um, where was it? 
There. Um. There you go. <laughs> oh, fine, fine. I I was playing it right when you followed as well. So. You might have actually followed during a Day of the Tentacle stream. So. Nice. <laughs> But yeah, I still need to actually save. So. Oh, I've got the dinner certificate. Dinner for two at Club Tentacle. Dang, it says tentacles only. Ah. Whoa, dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife. Yeah, fair enough. So, fine, so he's off now. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. Big deal. I said you're free, now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If we ran off, he'd be right on our trail. If we stay here, we know we'll be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. <laughs> The woods are filled with wild animals, <laughs> lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Wait. The meter says it's Wait. fully. Did I load the wrong game? Oh, I think I loaded a game instead of. Yeah, I think we. Yeah, we we went to an old save. My bad. Which means we need to redo this part. Dang it. <laughs> That's what happens when you press load instead of save. Let that be a lesson to you all. <sighs> okay, so uh, we need to go back to the kennel again. Speed running. Hey, how'd you get out? Get back in there. Yeah, exactly. So, I just... Yeah. Don't escape again. I was confused why I had the certificate. But that's why. So. Um, let's talk to the tentacle. Hello, Mr. Tentacle, the tentacle guy. guard again. What? Speaking is difficult. I, I have to go to the there bathroom. We go. We need oh, to go right. back Come on, to let's the Chrono John. Get the crank. Okay, human, do your business. Is that something we definitely need? Oh, I think we. Right. We haven't done the flag thing yet, I think. Um. So we need to send over the uh, instructions for the flag, which are the anatomical chart of the tentacle. Let's see if we did that or not at this point in the save. We haven't. Okay. So. I'll work on sending over the crank anyway. Because then I can send over the plans and also get the costume in one go, I think. Well, not really in one go, because I need to go back to the... Anyway, we'll get there. It'll be fine. So... Pick up the crank. And send it to Laverne. And 
and she can go back. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. But yeah, the whole, like, loading instead of saving. Yeah, it's definitely a common issue. And also, saving instead of loading, that's another one. Overriding a save that you actually wanted to load. So painful whenever that happens. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? So... Ooh, Doctor again. So then we good. get again the chart, and we go back to the panel. We hey, get caught. how'd you get out? Get back in there. Um, Mark my authority, we will you? Bathroom. You who, Mr. Tentacle Just Guy. Over. What? Uh, bathroom. I there. have to go to the bathroom. Oh, all right. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. Send that to Hoagie. And... He has that now. Give it to the lady. I'd rather not. Fine. That's what I meant. Now the flag changes. Beautiful. That's the flag we wanted. So now... When we go to the doctors, we can get our costume. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. It's about time. And then we don't need to keep on asking. Oh. Oopsies. <laughs> She's fine. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? So, doctor's office again. He's so good. Again? And up the chimney. We. Get that flag. Up the flag. Use the flag. There. That's as far as we were. Now we save. There. I mean, I guess I could even overwrite this one. There. Uh, we don't actually need to load. We just need to resume. I like how the option to quit is a skull poster. Tell me, oh, Lieutenant, that's new. how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Am I? Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir. That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. Okay. So how do I get down to the basement here? Is it still the grandfather clock? I wonder if that still leads down to Dr. Fred's- Sorry, I'm under strict orders from tentacle number one, the almighty elder, the Grand Pooba Purple Tentacle, not to let anyone near this clock. Fine. But I have rights. I'm a tentacle. 
And a darned attractive one, I might add. But no one gets to this clock while I'm here. And unless I have to go chase down some escaped humans, I'm glued to this spot. Rats. You heard the man escape! You're talking to the wrong people. We like it here. We're celebrities. <laughs> yes, I still need to send over the teeth, I think. Yep. Because now we can actually just send stuff over. Not worry about it. Way up the stairs. <laughs> Stupid tentacle. Oh, time capsule. We've seen that before. It's a dented old can. There's a plaque here about it. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, A.D. 1795. Sorry about the dents. There. I think she's done talking. Well, thank you for being subscribed to this channel, whatever this is, for two years. It's a long time. Or, well, very, very long days, sure. In commemoration of the Constitutional Convention, interred by Thomas Jefferson, A.D. 1790. Run over by a plow, yeah, right. A.D. 1795. I thought it looks at the can. Sorry but I guess about not. the dents. Okay. Hmm, how decorative. Can I pick up the can? I can't pick it up. Maybe I can open it. Open the can. I can't do it with... Can opener? I think we had one. Can't remember how we got it, but we probably just picked it up somewhere. Vinegar! Got it! There. That's one part done. <laughs> Still needs gold and oil. Uh, nice roller skates. Yeah. And... Oh, you got this. I'm not sure, we'll see. Oh, an extension cord. I need that. Okay. Great Scott! You're purple... Uh, um... Yes? Uh... I couldn't help noticing you ranting. Not ranting, plotting. Hmm, Oops. If you'll excuse me, I've got something in the oven. Anyone I know, eh? Do you mind? You're disrupting my concentration. Yeah, I'm leaving. Okay. Judging area. Right. Dinner certificate. Dinner up? for two. I can't. Oh, it's fine. behind it's the glass. Dang it. It looked like it was in front of the glass. But I guess it's stuck to the glass from the other side. I would have expected it to be stuck to the back, not the glass. So he lost the roller skates, so I can't just get him to roll away and be a runaway human. They both seem to be very happy about something. 
Uh, maybe I can scare one of them off? Hi. Hi. Um, how would I scare them? Do I have anything scary? Or can I... That's one of the few places where fake barf isn't useful. Okay. Maybe they're afraid of mice? Or fire? I think not. That might get a rise out of them, but I don't want to attract too much attention. Yes, fire and mice. Those are the ways to scare people off. The only two ways. Add the extension cord. Mice on fire? Yeah, that's a bit much. Air out the window. I don't know what to do about the cat. Maybe it wants to scratch itself with a fork. Can't get close no. to him. I mean, I'm pretty sure a fork would be pretty scratchy, but I guess this cat just doesn't want it to. It's gonna go around the. No. Save again. Forty-seven percent now. Well, sure. It couldn't hold the fork, but like, I was thinking maybe like, maybe she can help the cat. Fascinating. I wonder what the scalpel's gonna be for. Say, cutie, what brings a hot tentacle babe like you to a dump like this? Ah. Uh... I'm looking for a pet. Sorry, honey, you came to the wrong place. These three are problem humans. Untrainable, disobedient, downright surly. He's just jealous because we've got opposable thumbs. Probably. Someday you will accept tentacles as your masters. Huh. You losers can't even ride tricycles. <laughs> See why no one wants them as pets? So... Um... <laughs> I'm here by accident. I'm here by accident. I like that. Bye. Hey, I don't want to be here either. What if I... I think it controls the force field. Get away from that. Oh. That's my job. There, I got away from it. the age-old discussion. I mean, I'd say console just seems so limiting in terms of what games you can play, especially now. Whether, like, specifically, like, 
having stuff be console exclusive to one specific console. Just... Why? They Fascinating. Just expect people to be able to buy every single console, I guess. Yeah, fair enough. Ah. I haven't really had any of my very few consoles break that I remember. I mean, I've had, like, accessories and stuff break, but not the actual thing. I mean, of course, they want money. That is how companies tend to be. I mean, of course, it can just be some small part breaking, not the entire thing. Because I guess for most people, they, like, didn't d spill wine on their console and then drop it from the seventh floor. So. Oh, this one. Uh, I'll try and keep the story short. Basically, in a different game, there was a maze, we saw a skeleton in that maze, and I decided to draw this guy based on that skeleton. We saw that skeleton a lot in that maze, so I felt very attached to it. It was basically one of the only markers in that maze, so yeah, we saw that thing a lot. Hmm. I mean, who wouldn't spill wine on an old console and then toss it from the seventh floor? <laughs> it, it's just an example of how a console would probably break in more than one way. <laughs> so at that point, it's probably going to be more difficult to repair. <laughs> Or like a soft drink, that would probably be even worse, because, I mean, that wouldn't just stain. To be fair, I've never had to deal with wine stains since I don't drink, but, like, I know soft drinks, even when they dry, like, if you spill soft drink on, like, a stone-type floor, it'll still be sticky afterwards. So, spilling a soft drink on your console and then tossing it from the seventh floor. There. Maybe I could get the hamster over here. Maybe they don't like hamsters. Because it looks more alive than the rat. Or the... toy. Mouse. So... Yeah, of course, if it's a super important part, then it might be very difficult to replace or impossible to replace. But if you've basically got several of those consoles to like have enough spare parts, which I would assume you'd need, at least in some cases, because they'd be such custom parts that, yeah. You might end up with, like, two PlayStations and, like, 
puzzle it together until one of them works. Something like that. So. Yeah. A console that's basically just one ship. Yeah, that... That sounds very convenient. Alright, can we pick up the hamster? Okay. I can. Uh, I don't think I can put that in the chronojohn. Fine. Wait a second. I remember something about a very cold hamster. I'm sorry to do this to you, little fella, but it's for the future of the whole planet. Oh, it's not there. Maybe because he didn't close it. I can't. You? I don't think so. Oh. Take that. Pick up. I can't. Dang it. Uh. It's pretty darn cold. Hmm. He looks pretty angry. Yeah, he's not in there. Fine. I'd better not. He looks pretty angry. Okay. Guess I'll just close it again. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yes. Uh. Actual animal abuse. Big no. But in these games, I also, you know, try and use sharp objects on people, so. Video games aren't reality, one might even say. President Ailing, tentacle steps in. Oh, I didn't charge him. Well, well, well. I just think it's always funny when people think that uh, video games cause others to be violent. <laughs> like, I play plenty of video games and I actually don't like the shooty shooty bang bang video games <laughs> because I'm just not that kind of person to play those. They're loud. I don't like them because they're, well, loud and fast-paced, so yes, it's like, <laughs> how am I supposed to end up become, becoming violent via video games by, like, not even playing those ones? <laughs> And of course, like, people could already be violent and want to play those video games because they're already violent, so, like... And people can play those games and still be perfectly aware that's a game. So I've just never seen the logic in that. It's like... Reading... A science fiction book makes you build a spaceship. I mean, like... If you're already interested in science, you might read a science fiction book, but... Pretty sure there's very few people who are building spaceships after reading science fiction books. <laughs> so. What do we use these keys for? 
Hmm. That make you want to combine random items. I mean, there are plenty of people combining random items. I believe it's called TikTok. Dr. Fred hasn't made any noise in a while. Why don't you check on him? Why don't you do it? And also life hacks. Those combine some very random items. In some cases, without success, but... Well, they don't show that part. Yeah, of course. And I've also heard that, like, uh, in general, like, countries where people can afford video games tend to have a lower rate of violence. So in that regard, if you can afford video games, you're already less likely to be violent. So, yeah. What's the grading hmm. for? Air conditioning, I guess. Done actually nothing with that thing. So follow. What am I missing? Probably plenty. I mean, let's put a number on how much I'm missing. <laughs> um... There. Save. So I'm missing 52%. As I said, plenty. So... Right, we need to get him new teeth. I think it's supposed to be... these teeth. So we need to interact with the cat somehow? Um... Also, I still haven't gotten that hamster. I mean, what else is the ice machine supposed to be for? Hmm. Why wouldn't it work? Yeah, exactly. I did put it in there. It's already open. I don't think so. Take that. Take that. Take that. Hmm. Oh, Looks like there there's some kind of rodent down there. Got it. That was silly. Well. He's frozen solid. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that wasn't pixel hunting, that was... Uh, 
looking at the item before you can actually interact with the specific part of the item. So, yeah. It wasn't pixel hunting. Just need to do stuff in the correct sequence. So how do we thaw a hamster? <laughs> Does the kitchen still have some sort of thing that could defrost things? Do I have a microwave? <laughs> of course. Uh, well. Gosh, I hope this isn't like the primitive, dangerous microwave ovens of my century. Those things could really pop a hamster good. Uh, uh oh. Should maybe turn off the microwave. No. There. It's fine. That was fun, but only because this is the 22nd century. You see, kids who put hamsters in microwaves back where I'm from get taken away from their parents and put up for adoption. So don't do it. You hear that, kids? Who aren't supposed to be watching this channel? Um... <laughs> It's not like I'd be a great role model anyway, so... Let's see, can we scare the other humans with a hamster? Look, it's wit and angry. Nah. No. Ah. Uh, he still looks really cold. Can't get him to look at the people angrily. They both seem to be very happy about something. Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. My... Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh gosh, this took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the hair competition in the bag. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Right. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. Alone. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If you have a human you want to enter, you'd better get it down here. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Well Thank then, good by. luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? Hope you have a nice rest of your day slash night. Okay. How about the hamster on the cat? Nah. Hmm. I don't think so. Oh. They don't really have anything scratchy. Can I interact with the fence? Can't get huh? close to him. Use the fork on the fence. I don't no. think so. What a shabby paint job. Can I push the fence over? Take that. I don't think I can open it. Take that. But it does seem like I could maybe do something with the fence. I oopsies. Hmm. Looks like they all escaped. Looks like they all escaped. Jumpy little sucker. 
like I am going to catch that guy. Has anyone ever escaped from this place? Some try once in a while, but I always fetch them back. That's my primary duty here, and I take it very seriously. I always get my man, no matter how long it takes. Why, I once trailed a renegade human for six days. He led me clear through the hills and up to the top of those mountains to the west. You couldn't possibly imagine the horrible things I had to eat to survive. Uh. Grub and maggot salad? Good heavens! Um, you're quite the tracker. You're quite a tracker, aren't you? Rather, I always get my man, no matter how yeah, long right, it takes. Right. That's just repeating part of it. Nice clock. Yes, it's a valuable antique. I'd like to show it to you, but I'm presently charged with the task of guarding it. No one will get near it while I'm here. Yeah. But he's also guarding the humans. So the question is, how do we get the humans to leave? But maybe that's gonna be later. Yes, perhaps I could regale you with further tales of my tracking expertise. I guess we can possibly hand in the vinegar. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Okay. I think I still need gold. And oil. Neither of which we've seen around here. No cabinets. Anything in the microwave? I'm not touching it. These models have a history of leakage. Okay. A leaky microwave. So, how would I give the contract to... Maybe I just need to keep it for later? I guess I need to catch the teeth, but I just haven't managed to do so yet. And he wants a diamond. Other than wanting Hoagie to have the battery. Thanks for following. I mean, I did try to catch them. Come on, I won't hurt you. I can't re Oh, right. They're trapped now because of the AC thing. Yeah, there we go. That's what that was for. Right. Could you use these? Okay. 
Why, thank you, young man. Strange, I wonder if I should cut down on the coffee. Hey, Tom, look! The father of our nation is cold. Better build a fire. You're right. Huh? I guess you can have my log. Me? Why should I build the fire? You build the fire. I'm bothered by the smoke. You build the fire. <sighs> I'm bothered by your attitude. You build the fire. No, you build the fire, Mr. Penmanship. No, you build the fire, log lover. No, you build the fire. No, you build the fire. Two hours. You That's big right. baby. Still looks cold. Hi there. Hello. Feeling better now that there's a fire? Much better, thank you. My teeth were grinding into a fine powder, and that blanket was really making me itch. Okay. What's with the canary over the fireplace? Oh, that's an early warning system. It's quite ingenious. The canary is trained to ring the bell madly the minute it smells smoke. Then we know the building's on fire, and we run like crazy. Huh. I see. Amazing, isn't it? Nice painting of a turkey, dude. I'm glad you think so. The choosing of the national bird is on our agenda for the convention. Okay. What about the national theme song and stuff? First things first, we have to resolve the deadlock on the bird issue. You see, there are two schools of thought on the matter. Ben Franklin and I are in favor of the turkey, whereas Jefferson and Washington, for some reason, want the eagle. But Franklin's always outside playing with his ridiculous toys instead of here where he belongs, so it becomes two against one. I see. Good. Well, gotta go. Goodbye. There. Great conversation. So now we just need to block that chimney. Don't know why we want them to leave, but... How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? We already being? heard that. Please, this is serious business. You're right. Let's see if we can climb out the window, because we can't climb up the fireplace anymore. Obviously. There we go. That worked. Very strange sound. <laughs> Let's make some smoke signals. Yes. Out they go! Okay. Who was the idiot who started the fire? <laughs> Can I pick the blanket up again? No way. It could be on fire by now. Fine. It's blocked up with somebody's bed. I wonder if the smoke is still going the wrong way. Nope. Seems it burned up. Oh, they took the constitution. Dang it. Fine. I'll just take that. It looks pretty clear in here now. Say, did you get the pen on our way out? No, I... I found a blanket blocking the chimney. Oh. Son, do you know anything about a blanket? Nope. Uh, didn't the dude next to you have one earlier? Uh... Uh, hey, catch you later. <laughs> Oh, 
The black is back! What? I guess I was slightly burnt. I don't think that's the right way to add an amendment. Okay. Stolen from the desk of George Washington. Can I use the disappearing ink? Not funny enough. No. The white up? I don't think that would look better white. Can I use white out on the teeth? I don't think that would look better white. So they don't care about teeth whitening. Fair enough. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, amendments to the Constitution. Not sure what the quill is going to be for. Hmm. Can I use it to get the humans to leave? I don't think no. so. Silly humans. been through here. Bitcha. Oil. Awesome. Spaghetti. Sure. Use the soap on the water. I don't want no. it. Maybe we can like get a bucket or something. A bucket. <laughs> it's empty. Perfect. Can we fill that up with water? We can. <laughs> yes. And soap. The water's yeah. all sexy now. Got it. So now we clean the car. Well, carriage. Same thing. I can't do anything without um, something to scrub with. A sponge or brush or something. Fine. Is there anything like that in here? Oh, cabinet. Brush! Just what I needed. Nothing to clean in here. Dum de dum. Looks like a big storm. See, this is why I never wash my car. And he's running inside. Hey, Ben. Oh, it's you. Where are you going? What about your experiment? Even science sometimes gets cold on account of rain, my boy. But how are you ever going to get lightning if you're not going to stand out in a storm? To be frank, which I am, I don't know. The science of electrodynamics, much like your mind apparently, is still in a state of relative infancy. Back to the drawing board, I say. What a genius. the guy.
There he is. Um, give him the raincoat. I got something good for you, mister. Uh, mister. Mr. Brainstorm? Yes, hand it over. Hmm, doesn't this belong to somebody? Yeah, Red Edison. Ah. I'm sorry, but the man has no vision. A lightweight, durable fabric like this going to waste down in his basement. When I'm done with it, it will fly. Hmm. Eureka! The all-season Francocopter, ready to make history. Okay. So he didn't need the raincoat for himself, he needed it for the coat. Oh, there's no fuse. So, what do I light? For the last time, you're not going to light anything. You just push it. The whole time? How am I going to get up that high? Listen, just wait for me to say the word now. Then push the kite into the air, all right? I'm on you, lasagna. Let's hope so. Okay. Now! We. We. Look at her go! Now all we need is a little... Well. Hey. So what happened after I fainted? Well, after the lightning hit the kite, it came crashing down on your head. The lightning? No, the kite. Drat! What do you think we should do? Hmm. I'd like to go back to my lab and consider the situation. Sounds like something I would say. So I think that's how we're charging the battery. I was thinking we might need a fork to, like, get the lightning to strike the kite, but no. Right, and we have the oil. Time to hand that in. Yeah, exactly, you need to make the battery. Still don't have the gold. I don't know where to get it. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Hmm. What's up? Well, thank you for the gold subscription. Later, dude. Hmm. I don't think the bell counts. I mean, it's a fairly long game, so not surprising that it would have been on CD-ROM. could have gold or what could have gold Yeah, I think I might want to hint specifically for the gold, because, like, I've been wandering around a lot. 
But I haven't seen anything that would make me think that that's what I'm supposed to use. Well, sure, it's just... currently trying to figure out where the gold is. But I guess maybe... Oh! Maybe the metal is the gold. That could be. That definitely could be. trophy. Ooh. Yeah, I'm guessing that's gold. So. Sure. The feather. Oh, right, that stolen from gold plated. The desk of that's George the one. Washington. Thanks. I forgot that I had that. I mean, who gold plates a feather? Ah, the final element for my ingenious battery. Stand back, boy. Give me room to work. of modern science. It will look lovely here on the shelf until I take it with me to Baltimore. Yes, it will. Don't look now, but the British are coming, dude. Eh? Where? Is that supposed to be funny? I'm very busy. Yes, but I'm hilarious. So I'm guessing... Oh, fine. Seems the weather has calmed down. Uh, it's clean enough for me. Fine. Maybe not, then? Oh, no. Still see the clouds. Ready for another brush with destiny? Yes. Sure, why not? Let's Splendid. charge that battery. No. She's handling kind of funny. You got it. Just hang on there. She's too heavy. I can't control her. Hang on, Ben. Hang on. She's breaking up. She's breaking up. Run for your life. Now that was interesting. Yeah. Say, can I see that kite for a second? No, I'm taking it back to my lab in Philly right now so I can study the results. Wish me luck. There we go. I never got your name. It's Hoagie, sir. Nice working with you, Hoagie. I promise to name an invention after you someday. Gosh, thanks. As far as I know, that's a sandwich? So, use the battery. Flush my one chance nope. of getting out of here. Don't flush yeah. it. Yeah. Bam. Use it with a plug. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. So, I think that means he's set? So, yeah, still need to 
figure out what to do in the human competition. Um, not sure how we're going to start it. Can I already start on? I'd rather save no. that until he's ready to be judged. Okay. So where was the other tentacle? Hello, I'm a tentacle. I'd like to enter my insignificant oh, right. human in the show. Right, I haven't added oh the name my. tag yet. Yes, yes, of course. Take these tags and put them on your human and have them wait on the bench in the lobby. Entrance will be judged in three categories. Best smile, best hair, and best laugh. Thank you, fellow tentacle. Unlike humans, you have been very useful. Oh, uh, thank you. Believe me, it was my pleasure. Yowza! That was one good-looking tentacle. Lieutenant, I want to ask you something. It may trouble you. Ask away, sir! I can take it! I've got a strong stomach, nerves of steel, bowels of brass! Sir, can it, son? This is important. Have any of your friends seemed a bit firm lately? Ooh, ick! You mean like non-squishy and non-slimy? That's right, come closer. I've recently become suspicious that humans might try to infiltrate us. Huh. No! Though basically stupid, they can be tricky. They may be in disguise. Man. Well, that's the spirit. Everyone's raring to go. Let's get this show on the road. Ah, here it comes, my finest hour. But he's still waiting, so. Well, he's got no smile to speak of. Absolutely no laugh. Oh, right, the and he's as clown. bold as a cue ball. In other words, not a chance in it. Can I use the scalpel to cut the laughing thing out of the clown? Yes! Got it. Because I forgot the bump. I, I remembered how the clown was laughing after I punched it. Yeah. But I forgot that laughing was part of it. So. There we go. And hair. Uh. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. So how do we cook pasta? Oh, fine. They're soggy now. Beautiful. And so I, I said think we're ready. Her, that's not my suction cup. <laughs> As I mentioned, this part was the one I remembered the that's most of. Funny. Just not the last this part. This. So can we get it right first try? Hey, when are you guys going to judge best hair? Oh, all right. Give me that trophy. Harold got some amazing oh. hair. The mummies has improved. Yes, but it's dull, flat, stringy. Right, I need like to style the hair. Whereas Harold 
Hawkins flows and bounces with every subtle turn of his head. Yes, Harold wins. If only the mummies was a little bit better. Agreed. Okay. Oh, she already has the fork. Perfect. Let's style that hair. Beautiful. Don't question how the meatballs happened while it was going through the Porter John. Best hair! Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, alright. Let's see. Do we win? Wow! For a mummy, that's some great looking hair. Yes, it has a certain meatiness. But does it have stars and lightning bolts? No. no, Harold is still the best. Dang it. But if Harold were to say, drop dead, I'd give first place to the mummy. <laughs> Agreed. Fine. Time to sabotage things. Harold. Oh, Harold, that's gross. What are you babbling about? You really should have told the judges if you weren't feeling well. Oh, ick. Now, how did that mess get in there? I think I'm going to be sick. Someone in here not feeling well? I was feeling fine until I saw that. Is that your regurgitation? No, I'm a nasty human. Didn't you just say you thought you were going to be sick? No. That's just a figure of speech. Do you realize you could have infected the whole show with human influenza? But I just got all my shots. You're a good-looking human, Errol, but you know the rules. You're out of the show. Hmm. <laughs> What a mess. I hate cleaning up after humans. There. So now we should get through the show, I think. Because Harold was our only competition, so... That's ten. Hey, don't you think you should judge best hair again? Oh, all right. There we go. Wow, that's the best hair I've ever seen on a mummy. Thick and full and juicy. The mummy wins. Agreed. Yay. I'm getting hungry looking at that mummy's hair. I wonder why. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best smile? Oh, all right. I like the quiet one with the big T. There's nothing in the rules about them being white. First place goes to the mummy. Agreed. Now, best laugh. Hey, when are you guys going to judge best laugh? <laughs> oh, all right. A laugh right after saying best laugh. Okay, who's got a joke? Hey, I just flew in from Baltimore, and boy are my suction cups tired. <laughs> a classic. It's amazing how the mummy can do that without moving his lips. Mm -hmm. I say we give him first place. Agreed. 
Yay, we win. Well, that makes him best of show. Let's go congratulate him. He is very well preserved. I'll miss his laugh. It's time to give him his winnings and start packing up. We gotta get this whole show to Baltimore by Thursday. Okay. Yes, our work here is done. Nice. <laughs> what a winning smile. Well, Ted, this is where we <laughs> part ways. You've certainly helped save humanity. Even though you've been <laughs> dead for thousands of years, I think you're my favorite Edison. Can I push him down the stairs one last time? No, he looks tired after oh. all he's done. I was hoping to get the guards to chase after him. So now we've got the food certificate. Might as well save, now that we've got it. Well, well, well! 71%! I wasn't aware we were that far. Okay. I think we might actually be able to finish this game today. So... Whoa! Dinner for two at Club Tentacle? I can't wait to tell my wife! Now we use the switch. You're free! Free to do what? Free to... to run wild through the woods like humans should. <laughs> Big deal. I said you're free, now get off your fat, lazy butts and start enjoying it. Enjoy being hunted for the rest of our lives by that mustached old tentacle with a big net? If oh. we ran off, he'd be right on our the trail. The cat would probably look if like a skunk, here, especially with the white out. be warm and comfortable. Outside, we'd be eating bugs and moss. You'll be eating my fist in a second. The woods are filled with wild animals, lions, tigers, and skunks. Man, I hate skunks. Okay. So, do we still have the brush? Yes, we do. Maybe we can use oh, the brush on the cat. Oh, here I go out the door. Oh, I do so enjoy these freedoms that my forefathers fought and died for. Give it up. Sheesh. I don't think so. Fine. Use the brush on the cat. Can't get close to him. Yum yum! <laughs> Scrumptious Not booming. really. Cat doesn't seem to care. It's as if he'd rather scratch himself than play with this adorable rodent. Yeah, I did that earlier. It, did, it didn't do anything. Ooh. Okay. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think I can put that in the chronogon. Fine, so we're keeping that. I don't know what to do with that, but nice that we have it, I guess. How? Oh. Uh, there. This ought to be good. Now the cat turns into a skunk, runs into the building. No. Now we use the rat. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a prosthetic rodent. There we go. Another specimen. 
So now we scare the humans away. Which should make the guard leave. Wrong way. Should have gone to the kennel. But we're getting there. So... Where's the cat? There's the cat. Hey, look! A skunk! Come Man. back here, you mangy humans! You keep can't him do this! This is an escape-proof facility! Who says you can't learn anything from cartoons, eh, kitty? Okay. So now we can go down to the lab. Extension cord. Uh, I don't think I can do that. Vacuum up mice? Maybe hmm. later. That's how you empty the vacuum cleaner, I guess. Okay. Generator. So... Um, the hamster? He won't run, he just shivers. <laughs> the way she says shivers. Okay. Hmm. I have not watched those, but... Like, I've heard the name before. But there are lots of super popular cartoons that I just never watched because they just weren't on TV. Didn't have all the channels. And... yeah. Like, there were a lot fewer international channels available. So... The ones I did have were, like, specifically, like, translated cartoons and stuff. I tended to only translate certain stuff and like, not bother with some other cartoons, so. Don't know when that cartoon would have come out. Yeah, I mean, they also showed some, like, fairly old cartoons that had been on TV for, like, quite some time. Like, um, I'll look up when... Um... One of the ones that I used to watch is from... Let's see... Uh, the original... release was in... 79 Oh no, no, 74 actually. So 1974 was when one of the cartoons that I grew up watching was from. So as I was saying. And they were playing that on TV. Same. 
No, the cartoon is called Heidi. Ah, Lieutenant, I'm glad you're here. What can't you? Uh, well, I hate to say it, sir, but uh, there was some trouble with one of the humans. Well, cartoon slash anime, since trouble? it's actually from Japan. What sort of trouble? Nothing I couldn't handle, but I've noticed something about the humans that may pose a problem. Do continue. Well, sir, in general, they seem to be a bit larger than us tentacles. You know, taller, heftier, more massive. And I get the picture, son. Right. I don't mean to carry on, sir. It's just that it makes me feel inadequate, small, inferior. The subtitles are so much slower. Oh, before you go off the deep end there, let me tell you why I called you. You see, I've invented something which will end our troubles with those glandular leg walkers for good. I've invented the diminuator. The what? It's a shrinking ray, Dolt. Oh, I get it. Now I need you to get me a few parts so I can finish the thing. Come over here. So he's building a shrinking ray. Great. Um. So I think we need to get the sweater for the hamster. That might actually be the last thing we need to do. Um. There's a whole lot of keys on here. Can I use the keys on the vending machine, possibly? Didn't mean to click there. I guess so, yeah. But I mean, gotta save some money. So of course they're gonna reuse some animations. There, vending machine. I'd rather not. Hmm. There has to be something we can do. Right? Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Except for those beef squigglies, I got everything I want out of there. Hmm. Mmm, that buzzing fluorescent light makes the beef jerky look especially attractive. Look at the keys. There's a whole lot of keys sure. on here. There's a whole lot of keys on here. There's a whole lot of keys on here. There's a whole lot of keys on here. Yeah, just a whole lot of keys. So that's not it. Open the candy machine? It doesn't seem to open. Oh, the crowbar! I guess we give the keys to the thief, and he gives us the crowbar, and then we use the crowbar on the vending machine. Is that the right sequence? Let's see. Here, perhaps these are your keys. Where? Gimme. Hey, thanks, pal. Keep the crowbar. Yay! Crowbar. Thank you, masked man. What sort of person would carry around this many keys? person with a bicycle <laughs> because apparently over here you generally have like at least two locks because <laughs> uh, they have locks for the back wheel that are like built into your bicycle so that's a thing over here so you have at least two keys for your bicycle possibly more Thank you. 
<laughs> nice. Totally needed a crowbar for that. 1968? 1974? Ooh, 1977. Yep, picked up all of them. Nice. I figure this is about $876,600 worth of quarters. Didn't the family have issues with, like, not being rich enough? <laughs> True that. I have seen bicycles uh, chained to, like, the outside of the, like, banister that's on the edge of water. Like, for example, a bridge chained to the outside. <laughs> Makes me wonder how many times people try and do that and the bicycle ends up falling. Or just people dumping bicycles. It only takes dimes. Fine. So how do we wake up this guy? Just push him. I can't move him an inch. Uh, do we still have that feather? No, we don't. What haven't we used? Hmm. Would I get that going to move? Oh, maybe the crown the, the, the crowbar on the uh coin that's stuck to the floor with chewing gum. That could be. There we go. Got the dime. Nice. Mmm. Lovely. Soaking wet. So now we throw that in the dryer. Obviously. And we'll just put in a bunch of coins. I also vaguely remember this part, so. So. There. And quarters. Whew. Okay. That thing should be very dry. Nice. I wonder if they actually did the math. Ooh, cute. On how many coins you would need. And if the number he said earlier was actually correct. be fun if it was. Like the 800,000 whatever. So use the sweater on the hamster. This ought to warm him up. And off you go. On. Get him 
out of there. Sucker, go! He just keeps running and running and running. Nice! So, all of them are powered up. And we still need to deal with the bank account situation. <laughs> Still don't know how I'm going to get anyone to sign this thing. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a hmm. crazed maniacal genius. Then uh, let's save eighty one percent. Well, that's just four hours in. Last time it took me eight hours to get to this part. Ah, oh. take that past me. So, okay, it's stamped now. The party of the first part shall hereby be known as a crazed maniacal genius. Hmm. I'm guessing he still doesn't want to see it. Will you please sign this contract? I don't sign things I haven't read. But the whole human race is at risk. Of course! That's why I'm busy trying to think of a way to save it! I don't have time to read. Now leave me alone. Okay. want to sign that contract. Maybe I got a little carried away. Yeah, it's fine. Right, so her it is gone. His it still exists. Maybe he can sign it. is it this time? Um... What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? Hmm. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Maybe one of them wants to sign it? 
I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Hmm. I mean, I don't know. I've basically always had long hair. I'm guessing it's more of a thing about, like, needing to look manly. Because natural hair growth doesn't count as... Like, society doesn't really make sense sometimes, so... Yeah, well, kids don't get to decide things. <sighs> Spearmint, my favorite. Well, I'd say, especially when it's something as inconsequential as, like, cutting your hair, dyeing your hair, like... Yeah, like... Well, that's the thing about hair. It grows out. It'll be back to normal eventually. <laughs> so... <laughs> I'd rather not. How do I get him to sign a contract? How is that the difficult part? Maybe get him to sign the textbook? I'd rather not. Thermodynamic flux induction circuit design is perhaps the most fascinating branch of practical electrical theory. Yikes, that's boring stuff. I'd yawn, but I'm too jacked on caffeine. Hmm. I'd rather not. He doesn't want that. Can I give him the contract? Will you please no. sign this contract? Just I don't put it down sign somewhere. things I haven't read. Oh, forget it. I'll get rid of Purple Tentacle myself. Oh, yeah? How? Hmm. I guess I can't. Hey, did you join a record club lately? Good God, no! Those things are horrible money-leeching death traps! Well, there's a delivery man upstairs with a carton of easy listening 8-tracks for you. He says you have to pay for them. Ah, not again! Unless you sign this refusal form immediately. Got it. Thanks. That was a close one. Final. Well, good luck. Now we send it in the past. 
And I think that should do it. We'll see. Maybe we should add a rule that you can't dump sludge into the water supply. Uh -huh. What manner of fool would do that in the first place? You're right. Yeah, who cares about sludge? I don't wanna. Really? There. That was fast. Yes, what do you want? Hi there. Is this Dr. Fred Edison? Who did you think you called? Dr. Spock? Look, I don't have all day. This is Farley Crock at LucasArts Games. I just discovered your contract among some very old files, and, well, our lawyers say that we uh, have to pay you $2 million in back royalties. Uh, for the use of your family in the Maniac Mansion video game. There we go. What? This is Farley Cro- mm -hmm. No, I heard that, you moron! When do I get my money? Oh, right now. It's been credited to your Swiss bank account. Neat. Operator! Get me a travel agent! This is an emergency! Why a travel agent? So, now we need to get to the phone. And buy that diamond. Couch Potato Shopping Channel, Wanda speaking. Um, I want to buy a diamond. That will be two million dollars. Do you have a major credit card? Um, I have a numbered Swiss bank account. What's the number, sir? Um, it's 846-427-35327. Very good, sir. We'll send the diamond by Pronto Post Lightspeed Delivery immediately. Thank you for calling. Now that's yeah. service. That's how delivery times feel over here. <laughs> like, I better get this to Dr. Fred right away. It had holes in it, really? That should do it. I didn't notice. Where did you get this diamond anyway? Uh, it was donated by a group of Girl Scouts who were in the neighborhood. How heartwarming. According to my instruments, everything is in readiness. Your friends have activated their units, so it's time to throw the switch! Yes. Great! Uh, maybe step off that. Yeah. Hoagie! I'm so happy to... Hi! Laverne! Wow! I'm so glad you two made it back okay. I hate to interrupt, but there's no time to lose. Now that you're back, we've got to proceed with the original plan and send you back to yesterday to turn off the sludge matic Huh? Say what? Now hold on a minute, Dr. Fred. They just barely made it back to our time alive, and I think... Yep. Ha-ha! <laughs> you can't turn off the machine if I get there first. Thank uh-oh. Don't worry, guys. This time I know I can stop him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I guess we better do something. Let's go. Right. No, wait! You can't all go in the same stall! Right. Didn't you see the fly? Yeah, they're fine. Nothing wrong with them. Nothing at all. We're... We're... We're some kind of monster, dudes. Great. 
stuck here the rest of my life listening to Bernard talking and watching Hoagie eat. Mom warned me there'd be days like this. Now wait just a minute. It's Purple Tentacle! It's Green Tentacle. What was that green? Purple Tentacle behind you! What? I believe he's trying to warn you about me. Oh. <laughs> We're going to turn off the sludge matic and defeat your evil plan, overgrown worm. You sorry lot are no match for me. But there's three of us. Well, sort of. <laughs> Nevertheless, I mean to crush you. But yeah? You and what army? Why, this army, of course. Uh. Well... Yikes. You see, I've been busy. These are all versions of myself from the future. I've been bringing them back here using the Chronojon. Together, we will conquer the world. You tend there. Go to the basement and guard the sludge -omatic. to touch the sludge matic Now, creature, I must decide what excruciating tortures to... Leave them to me. Oh. I've been itching for a chance to test out my newly completed diminuator. Uh-oh. Excuse me. Um, us. Oh, there we go. We're tiny now. <laughs> All right, the rest of you come with me. Next stop, the world. Hmm. What do we do now? Oh. Whoa. It wears off. Well, not long. Aha. Run <laughs> for it. It made a thing sound. Damn. The battery must not have had time to recharge, but it will. Shh! Maybe he won't find us. Yoo-hoo! Where are you, human? It's okay, fine. He actually didn't find them. That's safe. Eighty-six percent. Okay. Let's see. Well, probably shouldn't go past him. There, I think I've almost got it. Um, right, the other ones are down here. What happens if we go visit them? Hello? Fine, I'll just leave. Uh, fine, they, they didn't seem to guard the other stuff. Just the sludge matic and the doctor is doing fine. Okay, can't go over there anymore. Hello, how are you doing today? Let's open that door. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Fine. So they're limiting the area we can access. Not necessarily a bad thing. Um, let's... It doesn't seem to open. Pick up? We better not move him. I'd rather not. Hmm. Pull? We better not move him. There's a bow right there. Just pull on it. Hmm. Can I open 
open the trunk. I think it's locked. It's already open. Okay. It's empty. Fine. Pick up the sign again. It's on the other side of the window. Okay. Help wanted. Lab assistant. Hard-working moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma. Not required. Oh, so that's how the fake bath got stuck to the ceiling because of the convention. Completely forgot. Um, we could open the safe. We need to leave the contract in there so I can get it tomorrow and right. send it to Hoagie 200 years ago. Right. Yeah. <sighs> so what can we do in here? Are the keys still there? Nope. Phone, maybe? No time for that now. Fine. Aha! Uh oh. Found us. Take that. And this. Drat. Hmm. If only the hardware store carried larger batteries. So, can we fit through the mouse hole now? Yes, we can. Uh, what we do in here. Use the stereo. Wow, this is loud. Neat! Uh-oh, this looks like it might work. Pick up the world domination plans? I don't need to take over the world. Fine. Pick up the bowling ball? Nice. Uh... Probably switch this off. Whew. Hey! He left. Where'd he go? Okay. Do we need the hamster again? Who knows, baby. No. Can't drag for them. Fine. Um open this door. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Hmm, this door appears to be locked. Fine. Just the bowling ball, then. That's all we could find. Maybe that's gonna be enough? Because, I mean, they are standing there in, like, bowling pins. Great! Now we can turn off the machine and prevent all this tentacle mayhem from ever happening. Ah. And there he is again. Well, I'm certainly glad that's over with. Yeah, let's get out of here. Leaving so soon, mm -hmm. we haven't had the chance to get to know one another. 
You humans are so small-minded. <laughs> Eek! Oh, can we run on the generator now? Run all you like, you insignificant insect. So we are the small. The human race is doomed. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. <laughs> <laughs> you can't stop me. Just what is it you have against humans anyway? Humans are our oppressors. They made us live in this horrible motel. They created us in ungainly forms, so we could not rise against them. Try walking around with your legs tied together and glue on your shoes. You'll see what I mean. So? You wouldn't understand. You're pretty handy with that ray gun. Center of the forehead every time. Would you like a demonstration? Um. I bet you couldn't hit your own forehead. Nice try. Okay. Are you really a future version of Purple Tentacle? Who else would be brilliant enough to invent the Diminuator? Hmm. How is it that you can grow hair without follicles? It wasn't easy, but the secret made me very wealthy. Okay. Uh... Are you sure you're a future version hmm. of Purple Tentacle? I said I was, did I not? Are you more or less intelligent than the purple tentacle from our time? The same, but I've had 200 years to think things over. <laughs> I mean, he has a point there. We've got to go save the world now. <laughs> you can't stop me. The human race is doomed. We better deal with Purple Tentacle first. Okay. So we deal with him. I'd rather not. Um. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Can't interact with the rope. My separately. other selves are taking over the world as we speak. You humans are so short-sighted. <laughs> Eek! Yeah, now he switches it off again. In the meantime, we can't do anything. Don't even have a cursor. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. <laughs> you can't stop me. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. No. It won't but It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. <laughs> hmm. I've already won. To do. Help wanted? I can't reach that from here. You can't. I'd rather not. Can't offer him a job. I've already won. Now he can't go anywhere else, so. <laughs> pick him up. That's probably a bad idea. No. Um, pick up the generator. You can't stop. Me. I don't think I can pick that up. Open the it generator. It doesn't seem to open. I've already won. Talk to the doctor. He's Dr. right there. Dr. Fred, are you all right? Get me out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! 
My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. <laughs> would be nice if we could just duck. You know? And get him to be the one the who's... human race is doomed. Shrunk. My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. Hmm. <laughs> yes, quack. Yeah, can't do anything in between. After you humans lever. amount to very little. <laughs> Eek! So what do I do? I get so little time. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. We can't reach it. Hmm. Nope. We've got to go save the world now. <laughs> Slow time. <laughs> it has to be while we're shrunk. You humans are so like short sighted. The generator would be the obvious <laughs> option. Eek! Like it's meant to run with a small creature. We are currently a small creature. Run all you like, you insignificant insect. The human race is doomed. Hmm. No. You can't stop me. Is there anything we haven't looked at? <laughs> Dr. Fred, are you all right? Oopsies, that's Get not me looking. out of here! I feel like I'm pupating! It's supposed to feel like that. My uh Dr. Fred is being held under duress. You can't st- I think it's the switch for the sludge-o-matic machine. <laughs> it doesn't seem to open. What am I missing? My other selves are taking over the world as we speak. Can I push him? You can't. That's probably a bad idea. That's probably a bad idea. He looks a lot like Santa, but not as friendly. Miss some speech options. Uh, sure. I guess we can. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. Talk to him some more. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand wringing lot of you. But humans created the Sludge-O-Matic, which made you super intelligent. Nonsense. I created that myself and sent it back through time. I knew Fred's mad scientist ego would make him use it. How's that for a paradox? Um... Who? Fred? But there's only one Maybe of we him. just annoy him? Right. Anyway, you can see why I detest humans. Let's discuss your hatred of humans further. What's to talk about? I detest the whole cackling, hand-wringing lot of you. Sounds like you just hate Dr. Fred. Hmm, I suppose you're right about oh? that. I didn't start out hating all humans, just Dr. Fred. So... Why don't you zap Fred with the ray gun Fine. for a change? Hmm, perhaps that would be entertaining. Because that should free him. Oh, no. Oh, drat. Ah, surely but. we can talk this out. Hmm. 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 Talk? Surely. Wait! 
you haven't heard the last of me. I'll be back, and the next time, the world and all its piffling inhabitants shall be mine. All mine. Sure. <laughs> all mine. <laughs> okay, little fella. Mail this to Siberia. Thank you. Oh, nice. It's undoing stuff. I had something on my shoe. There's butterflies coming out of those pipes. That doesn't seem like Our work here is done. Now we can go home. Epilogue? Let's see. Well, kiddies, it's been more fun than a jumpsuit full of weasels. Now, kindly get your freakish hide out of my home. Please, Dr. Fred, you've got to get us out of this mess. We look terrible, and we can't buy clothes off the rack. I'm getting sort of used to it. Maybe we could go on the talk show circuit. Help us, Dr. Edison. You're our only hope. <laughs> oh, There's right. the reference. Hmm. Hmm. Idiots! It seems you're not exactly the sideshow attraction you imagined. You're just three complete goofballs stuck in one suit of clothes. <laughs> but somehow the t-shirt grew additional holes. <laughs> well, I'm glad that's taken care of. Looks like everything's back to normal. Yep. Everything. Absolutely everything. There we go. We did manage to finish the game. Huh. Yeah, it's still a very fun game. I do think it's one of the most high quality ones out there. In terms of, like, how the puzzles fit together. I mean, of course, it's moon logic, but at least it's interconnected moon logic. So, yeah. And it's consistent with its moon logic, so. And it's not, like, Sam and Max, so it's not that level. So, yeah. I do definitely like this one. And compared to all the other ones I've played, it still like like it, it it stands out in terms of just being a very well made one. So yeah, I like it, and I'm glad I played it again. It's been quite some time, as I mentioned. So yeah, it's very different from Maniac Mansion. It's cartoony, which, I mean, to some extent Maniac Mansion was cartoony, but not in the same style. Maniac Mansion was just cartoony in the, like, we can show gruesome murder and, like, not have it be a, like, a game that's gonna be rated for adults or something, just because of that. I, I'm not sure if Maniac Mansion even got a rating, but anyway. Um, yeah, it's a very different type. Whereas this is the, like, nothing can happen to you because you're a cartoon character and you're basically immortal. Like with how Purple Tentacle wasn't even killed at the end, just squished and mailed to Siberia. <laughs> but he's alive. As you can see. Alive and well. It's quite the gradient they added there. 
Let's think one, two, three, four, five, six colours? Just on the middle part of his body? Neat. Well used. There we go. That was Day of the Tentacle. But yeah, I mean, like, I definitely prefer the original art style over the non-pixel art version. So, yeah. Yes, another sunset. So, yeah. Once again, glad I got to replay this game and re-experience it. Um, yeah, it's definitely one I remembered quite a bit of, and I've also like seen a bunch of other channels play it in the meantime. So, like, I, I think this one is going to be easier compared to The Dig, which I have not seen, like, at all since I played it back in 2019. <laughs> and we're going to be playing that tomorrow! So... <laughs> It'll be fine. <laughs> um, but yeah, that means that next week we'll be uh, starting um, Zach McCracken. And we'll be doing that on uh, Wednesday. So, yeah. Um, and depending on how the dig is going to go tomorrow, we might have two days of Zack McCracken, because I'm pretty sure that one's going to take longer. So... But yeah, the background, uh, it's a building somewhere in Washington. I don't know which one exactly, but there's the US flag. It just seemed fitting. And there's it, the flag again, because, you know, need to have it every one day. <laughs> very important to like put the flag in as many places as you possibly can so anyway well it's actually not just that puzzle the dig was quite a difficult one for me when i played it the first time maybe i'll have an easier time now but as i mentioned it's been a long time and i <sighs> i'm not sure i've watched anyone play it in the meantime if i have i've like not watched much of it. So. Yeah, we'll find out tomorrow. It'll be fine. <laughs> and yeah. Let's see who we're going to raid. Actually, I think since Badger is playing Sam and Max, Sam and Max saved the world specifically, and, you know, LucasArts. So might as well head over there. We even had a cameo of Max in the game, because of course we did. So, yeah. That's that. Um, yeah, social links. So, Twitter slash X or whatever it's called. That's where I post my schedules. Same goes for Mastodon and Discord. So... You can pick any of those. Don't have access to uh, threads or blue sky at this point because my uh, invite link hasn't been sent yet for whatever reason, possibly because of Europe. Don't know. And threads hasn't launched in Europe. So, Mastodon and Twitter it is. Anyhow. Um... And YouTube one is where you can like watch my VODs, including uh my playthrough of Day of the No uh Medic Mansion. It's also a second playthrough because my original playthrough was too long ago. But um uh, you can watch that if you're curious. And the other one is the Stealthy Cookies channel, where there's going to be a new video out in an hour and uh, 23 minutes. So, soon. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with The Dig. Bye!